I've been started to work with uh, cover crops. Oh, just uh, I am a technician. I am an agronomist in the South Brazil. I did a master in Aberdeen in Scotland, 94, 95. I did a PhD in, in Brazil, one part here in Inha, uh, and also Grignon University with Dr. Daniel Tessier, Stéphane de Tudunier, and one part in KSU, Kansas State University. Uh, I'm a researcher, I'm a senior, but uh, I work a lot of farmers. I show more results on farmers. I'm a researcher, I like to write papers, but I prefer when the farmers are doing in the field. I multiply. So you can ask uh, any time, it's correct? You can ask any time, just the, the doubts, uh, questions. We are here as a friends to share. I didn't come here to teach you, but to share with you our experience. We are with 40 Cahantados Anye, 42 years working with this species of cover crops in different parts. So, in the 70s in Brazil, uh, it was a great challenge for us, the water and wind erosion. A strong uh, challenge for all farmers. We have a strong problem with erosion. You see 12 to more than 100 tons per hectare of, of soil losses per year. And when it was shifted to no-till, it was decreased to 0 0.4 to less than 2 tons per hectare. Come on. This is data from the University of Rio Grande do Sul, Dr. Uh, Kogo. It's a little dark here, sorry. Uh, but when you plow the soil, you, you are losing all or many biological uh, quality, biologic aspects. You are losing in, uh, some biodiversity. Uh, we are discussing all different aspects involved with cover crops. I, I, the idea in the end had show you that it was beginning in, 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 in uh, two, three, four decades, but some areas in Brazil, we, we, it's very common in, in, in Africa and in other countries. When you start, you go to Slash and Barn in some situation like this, and you show, we hope in the end, in the when you are trying to wrap up the old information, to see this, we must to develop one, increase the biodiversity, and to bring something different, uh, like uh, mimic the, 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 the modern nature, mimic a, a, a rainforest or a, a tropical uh, forest. So like Ray Koski this morning showed you, and many of the, the speakers during these days, show we don't have one crop residue, and when you don't proceed, you no burn this residue, this occurring this microbial decomposition. So we can have 80% it release, it goes as a CO2. And maybe around this, it can, of course, vary. Not this exactly, it's not mathematical, uh, these numbers. Because, or not mathematical, because you are included in biology. And biology is not mathematical, everything. You can have one bacteria, and in a few seconds, minutes, you can have one million, two billions, we don't know. So you can have this 20 percent of soil organic matter. But when you have the same crop residue, when you proceed to burn this crop residue, you can burn by fa fire, or you can burn by excessive uh, uh, soil preparation, or uh, disc heroin, mainly in the tropical areas, you can lose immediately 60 percent of the CO2, and here 40 percent with the ash, and this ash we will suffer the microbial decomposition, and you can lo lose 32 percent of CO2, and go see the loses will be uh, higher, and you have just a, a small amount of this can become a, a humus, like our friend Gasler showed this morning as well. So, some practice is very common here is in Paraguay, in Latin American countries, no barn, no plow. You plow by animal traction or by tractor, a small, big one, and look for, find some special species of cover crops and some different crop rotation to mimic like this rainforest in front. You can see here, canola, you can see here, 
blackout. You can see here lupin. You can see here lupin, uh, white lupin. Here is uh, uh, field pea. You can see here uh, hairy vetch. So different possibility, different families, different species with different effects into the soil. <coughs> so when you have uh, erosion, in this case, we are not seeing very well here. This is an excessive uh, uh, high intensity of rainfall. And this erosion is just water. You are losing water. And this water brings together some uh, organic residues because it's, it's, it's light, the organic molecules. And also some nutrients. When the rainfall comes, goes down, don't forget, we are losing nitrate, we are losing boron, we are losing potassium, we are losing sulfur, no phosphorus. Phosphorus is zero, uh, comma, zero, zero, two percent. Phosphorus you lose when you are losing uh, 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 sediments, when the this erosion is with sediments. But erosion with water, we never wash it out, we have the leaching these things. You can see here, for example, this is one farm, this is a not you farm, this is terrace. What's happening here? He is on the top, top sequencing here, and you can see on the, the low part, and the rainfall is the soil covering. The rainfall bring all potassium here. So the potassium washed out on the runoff and also into the soil profile. So we need to develop a system that can save, can capture as more as possible the water. And this was the revolution in Brazil in the 70s, when the Herbert Bartz, a farmer that you see later on, you're okay? Yeah. You're seeing Marie. Uh, you, and we started a, a, a revolution in 1972 in Brazil. It's now 28, uh, 36, 37 years ago, when we started with this uh, watershed systematization and shifted from the conventional to the no-till, and you'll discuss a little bit more about the details of no-till. And no-till, it, it comprises uh, the main three principles. This, the three principles are the same all over the world. We change the crops, we change the climate, we change the, the, uh, the nutrient status, but you look for to develop a system that comprises minimum soil disturbance, soil as covered as more as possible during the year, and crop rotation or biodiversity in order to promote the soil covering and to promote the soil life and uh, the le at the level of the macro, meso, microflora, and microfauna. I'm a researcher, I told you at the beginning, but I work a lot of farmers. Now I'm, a, a, I'm a retired for six years, I'm a consultant. I'm working in 17 states of Brazil. Yeah, I've been visited, not that I know, 49 countries, all continents, working on this and teaching a little bit and learning, like these days with friends, with farmers, uh, a lot. So, the no tillage, so we call plantio direto con qualidade, or no tillage system with quality must you comprise this. Soil covered, different plants or different combination or dif different uh, accompanying plants in order to have this, to follow these principles. You can see here, for example, the temperature here. After 30, 32 degrees, the international data show that you can lose the maybe more than 80% of the capacity. You change the, the, the behavior of the plant the metabolism of the plant, it cannot uh, uptake the water in nutrients, uptake the water and decrease the photosynthesis, photosynthesis uh, uh, percentage. So you can see here, this soil covered uh, at this time, at 3 o'clock p.m., it was 30 degrees, no? And you can see here was 55. This soil is, is, is uncovered soil. So you are losing in 74 uh, Fahrenheit. You are losing water, and the plant is stopped without making the photosynthesis and also uptake water and also nutrients. So, uh, quickly, concept that you know uh, very well, better than me. Some aspect that you comprise the sustainable agriculture aims is recover and maintain soil productivity. You are looking for this. If it is not good, you need to recover. Maintaining soil quality. Organic carbon sequestering, nutrients balancing, 
and to attain suitable crop yields with economic returns. This is in the Cerrado, in Savannah area of Brazil, one of the largest continuous potential annual crops in the world. We have it here in this area, one potential more, the, including the, the uh, pasture, degraded pasture. We have more than 200 million hectares with potential to, de to develop uh, uh, the system. You can see here, this area was degraded, you see, was the same, but to what are these years? One uh, is that the same, and you ask me, what do you do in my farm? What do you do when I, I go in the farm in this plot? In my, uh, my experience in America and different places, the first thing, the word that I learn is uh, because everybody learn. All of us, I didn't know nothing. And I know now that I know very low, very little. So, uh, yes, many people wrote a book, they don't put any reference. So it means that he knows alone all that knowledge. No, no. Oh, everybody knows. Oh, the, the, the best, the, 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 the world prize. They didn't know once. And during the life, they learn. All of us are learning each other. And this is a degraded area of uh, Cerrado, of the pasture. And the, one of the first things is diagnostic. Diagnosis. El diagnostico. Es el punto clave. Is the key point. You need to make this diagnostic, we we'll see later on, with the physical, biological, and chemical attributes to check, to check what is going on in this plot. Maybe this plot is having many problems, and another I don't have. So I don't need to use the same crops, the same uh, soil management. And here, we saw that there was needed some lime, we put lime. There was needed some gypsum, we put gypsum. Some phosphorus, some chemical fertilizer, we put this. And we put the cover crops. This in this case was per millet. We managed and you planted soybean and no-till. And here, no, there is degraded pasture, the animal like this. Because the soil is poor, the soil covering is poor, the pasture is poor. The cows are poor and the people are more poor. Poor soil, poor people, poor environment, but what are the same? Oops, sorry. It was the same. What the farmer did? The farmer did the intervention and tried to change this. And this degraded pasture we are losing, we are releasing CO2. Now Brazil have around 200 million, 190, 200 million hectares pasture in the whole country. We have an uh, estimative of how far this 90, 95 million or 100 million hectares with degraded pasture. And the, ma uh, the major part of the degraded pasture are not the physical, are not chemical. One of the main problems is nematodes, because the grasses, our brachy areas, that's most common, generous of the soil covering, they suffer, they are very attacked by nematodes. This is Brachyurus, Pratilencus Brachyurus. It's the worst nematode in Latin America. There is no one species until now of Brachyera that not multiply. We saw, we see this later on. This is one of the strongest challenge in our agriculture is to manage this nematode. So you can see here the long-term experiment here in Ponta Grossa. One soil with the plowed bare soils. Our soil loss achieved more than 100 tons per hectare per year. This is in our institute, our research. You, see. you can see here, and you can see here moldboard plow. It was compared to mold bar plow 100%. We increased this plowed bare soil. You see, 1,307%. You, you go to a, more than 100 tons. You see here the, the, the chisel plow, scarificador. I don't know who is in. Okay. And you see, it goes to 49%. And no till. You see, just 9%. Just a little per year. This is considerable very low soil losses per year. So, you can see many data, I put many data. Of course, many people are studying, we are learning each other all over the world every day. Multi cover for erosion control. You can see Midwest Plant Service, utility system management, steward, now is a very nice guy, research from the University of uh, Netherlands. We met in many meetings. You can see here, according to our increase in the soil covering, you are decreasing the, the erosion. 
So this is very important. But not only this, uh, the, the, the soil cover. Oh, there are so many things. You are in the presentation this morning. No, you are here. No, you was there. You saw that presentation. Uh, of course, we respect all the people. But the presentation was the conclusion that Dr. Donald, the American from Texas, won the conclusion, not him, from some people. They said they studied for 160, 40, 50, 65 years in the UK. I know that uh, Rotamstead is almost is the oldest uh, note, uh, experiment is in the world, uh, 185. And so that there is no difference with fertilizer, no fertilizer, in plow or not plow the soil. My friends, this is one, one, one conclusion, very local. If there is a, uh, some uh, steep slope, it will be different. According to the texture, it's different. So there are so many aspects. Somebody read, oh, there is no problem. Oh, doesn't matter fertilizer, doesn't matter plow or not plow, 160 years, 65 years, don't happen erosion, it's okay, it's productive. The so we need to, to pay attention on it, in my opinion. Always, I'm saying the data from the literature on other friends, another research, in my opinion, of course. And don't believe me 100%. Don't believe in anybody 100%. Believe something, you put your the filter, <laughs> because it's very important. And Brazil will talk this, because just for herbicide in soybean, we have 92, 95. The farmer will choose just one for many years. And now we have 10, 12 weeds without control. And in Australia, we have half million, half million hectares with ryegrass, there is no herbicide in the earth planet, not in the mundo, that can control this. Why? It developed the resistance. Okay? So the crop rotation is the point. We discuss a lot of different possibilities to improve the biodiversity. And this is start in 1972 with this system. In Brazil, we have Herbert Martz. It here is, is, is a little bit dark, it's because the light, because this is, is clear, but this is he imported from, from America, the Chalmers, the machine, and Mr. Herbert Bartz, our ancient, our pioneer from Latin America, Herbert Bartz, now we start in 1972. So I told you about the, these three principles, and this is a, uh, Dr. Rick Weber from Notio Farm in South Dakota said, Conservation agriculture, that is the, the umbrella, the whole system, including minimum disturbance, soil covering, rotation, is not a farming practice, not isolated farming practice. It is a concept of the mind. If you don't believe in it, you will fail. It's energy. If you don't believe, that will happen. Maybe I am uh, not feeling well. Probably you are not feeling well. If I believe, I will do it. But you need your action. So this is Herbert Bartz. This is Mr. Mr. Bartz. This good friend uh, uh, left us two years ago, Nono Pereira, Frank Dixters. This is our three uh, pioneers in Brazil. There are no secrets among, among us, among the farmers. Many times. Sometimes there are. Sometimes among us. This is one thing, my friend. I'm a researcher. You saw in the scientist. I, 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 I work uh, 37 years in the Institute, many Congress, many places in the world, 49 countries I visited, more than 200 traveled this more than 30 years. We saw some people. This not discussed a little bit in, on the ground. Why? One day, nobody knows nothing. You see the black oat, sun hemp, summer and winter cover crops. We have a lot of different crops. We tested more than 158 different species, different combinations during these years. And this is start in 1977. This photo is 1979 with my guru, Dr. Rolf Zerbsch, that we start in Brazil in some place. So different varieties from here, from Poland, from England, from France, from different parts of the world, testing and putting some uh, higher plot and after with cotton, with wheat, rotation with soybean, with maize. This is good because I don't know where I talk with you. I will put this, make the arrangements, and I discuss with you because we have a history. The experience is the master. The experience is an open book. You put in the best one, 
in, in, in plots, uh, uh, 200, uh, uh, 500 is square, square meters, and after half hectare, 10 hectares, and now we have a different cover crops that discuss a little bit with you. And after 24, 25 years ago, we start to not isolated plant. I start to, in 42 years ago, isolated plant. No, Sergio. But later on, we saw that when you mix, later on, no, it took many years. And you put one radish, one black oat, one black oat, one radish, and lupin, one few dp. And then we started this. The crop rotation, different possibility that you can do. There is a strong impact. The domestication of plant species. This is the literature here. Uh, you, you have uh, the, the all this presentation will be available for you. I ask them; it will be available for everybody. Of plant species contributed to human civilization. This is true, but decline in genetic diversity of cultivars, of modern crops that may have affected the ability of plants to establish special association with mycorrhizae and others. One point, key point, for example, you have one cover crop, we have a uh, permillet, Perniceto glauco, we showed you. This plant is very strong in cycling potassium. It goes two, three meters and can take up top take the nutrients two, three meters. We measure this, we have it in many data. If you go to wheat, if you go to potato or soybean or uh, maize, the genetic, the studies, the, the breeding made that this plant, 88, 92% of the nutrients you can uptake in 18, 16, 20 centimeters. Coffee, tree. We work a lot of coffee. I work with a lot of coffee. Last week I was in Minas Gerais State. We have more than one and a half, almost two million hectares of coffee. The coffee has roots with four meters. The coffee. Do you know where this uh, uh, feed the coffee? 30 centimeters. 30 centimeters, 88, 89, 92 percent of the nutrients. What about the roots of the four meters? This four meters to uptake water. We need the roots to go down to support uh, diverse conditions, the dry conditions. But the nutrients is on the top. What is the all organic matter, all microorganisms, all the soil life, the majority. You can see here what's happening with the domestication. On rhizosphere mi uh, 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 microbioma, moving out to native habitants. You see here, the goes down with the effects to bring nutrients, everything. But the normal, now our varieties, it goes on here. It's, you have, a, you know, I'm not a breeding, but a breeder. When you, you, you need to put one gene, we need to take out another. You increase the crop yield, but you decrease the resistance for pests, for disease, for many of them. And this, of course, we have it today, great part. We had uh, the last year in Brazil, the Soy World Congress in Rio de Janeiro. One of the conclusion that I told you very fast, very quickly, the nematodes in the world was increasing. And it was the previous one, Soy World Congress. And the root disease, disease also was increasing. What's happened? The study of AO, the study of the United Nations showed last year that in the world is continuing increase in the nematode population, continue to increase the root disease in all countries, and increase the use of chemical nematicide and increase the use of chemical fungicide. So these tools are not able to decrease this. We need to look for another pathway, another way that many of these days you discuss and many people show us different approach. So this is a strong impact with this. I told you the, the so the main function of the cover crops, quickly, this is not uh, uh, soil protection, avoid soil erosion, we know, water and wind, mulch to improve soil covering, we know, effects on weed suppression, yeah, we have a lot of farmers who have organic farming, we have many farmers that are not organic but decrease the use of herbicide. This is very important, very interesting, 
We don't need to use too much pesticide or herbicide or another site. Good control, allelopathic effects, enhanced water holding capacity. You have a roots, a strong racim into the soil profile that promote more. You are increasing the island superficie specific, specific surface area with the organic matter. And the organic matter, the capacity, like a sponge, to save, to uh, you improve the, the water infiltration goes down with macro porosity, the big pores of the soil. The micro pores will save the water. We keep the water and the organic matter is the only way is this micro pore and organic matter into the soil profile. This is a very important concept. You need to put soil covering, but you need to build the soil profile with the organic matter here because it can uh, uh, develop more than 8, 10, 12 times more than clay, 15, 20, 25 times more than sandy or sand grain with the organic matter. The, the specific surface area, oh, sorry, I need to think many times in English because falamos português, é mais rápido, área de superfície específica é melhor, mas we need to think in English. No? This is a very important point. I will tell you later on one concept of the organic matter. Very, very important. In many parts of the world, are not clear. For me, it was clear three years ago. Yeah, I'm 45 years on this matter. So, better temperature, oscillation, control. In, 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 mainly in, in yesterday, uh, our friend from Canada, she's not here. I do know her, some of you. Uh, Odetti, he was in the have the lunch on the sun. He said, No, I'm from Canada. I need the sun. We are in Brazil, it's 39, 42 degrees. We are escaping from the sun. No? And the temperature sometime in soil uncovered can achieve for us 53 degrees in the three centimeters. You are cooking the roots, you are cooking the plants. So it, it made a stress in the plant. So, if you decrease this oscillation of temperature in, at night, 10, 12, 18 degrees, and during the day, this is terrible for the plant. This also, you uh, will improve with the soil covering. Bring about nutrient recycling, adding nitrogen by biological fixation. Not only uh, by biological fixation, as legume plants, as uh, the use of azospirillum and the grasses, I told you, Later on, strong results in the world. Improvement of soil biology, macro, meso, and microflora, and fauna. So strong roots of some cover crops, foster biological plow. You can use some crops like pigeon pea, like uh, somebody showed yesterday, some flower, like uh, crotillaria, like uh, l white lupin. So plants that have strong roots to break down compacted layer or some uh, more high density area and disrupt some compacted layers. Increase favorable soil physical effects, soil particle aggregation, you increase this. Infiltration rates, porosity, permeability. And rotation with different species will corroborate to soil equilibrium, leading to less problems with pests, disease, nematodes, also the soil and also the crops. So this promotes better conditions to plants uptake water nutrients. Roots grow, we will promote suitable environmental conditions for development of organisms in depth. This is very important because you, you, bring, you bring oxygen into the soil profile. And the plant, you respirate. The respiration is not only for the, the canopy or the aerial part. Also, the plant, the respiration process occurs into the root system. You oxygenate, your oxygen goes into more aerobic uh, condition for microorganisms. We will be better in better conditions. And roots grow, you promote suitable environment for developing organisms in that, promote better conditions to plant uptake water and nutrients. So how we can improve our production system? This is one example on a farmer, our friend, 2,000 hectares, Alphonse Sledge, 
It was the last president of Brazilian Nutil Association. This is in Sao Paulo State. This, I know this, this area. The people came from, from Germany. These relatives, this is a very nice farm. But they grow beans, they grow maize, they grow wheat, they grow soybean, cotton, sorghum, but intensively. A lot of pesticides, a lot of chemicals, salts, many things they are decreasing some population of organisms, promoting some disequilibrium, and they have some problems with nematodes, root disease like Fusarium, like Rhizoctonia, like nematode species and you are trying to develop with them some cover crops you need to put some cover crops here between the 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 maize rows or uh, over soil with the sorghum you can find some way to put some different plants it is possible and you can see the crop rotation the biodiversity this is one forest should be in a savanna area you have a million billion trillion who saw this data also Gasler showed us the huge amount of organisms when you are Cutting the soil, we are uh, plowing the soil, we are disrupting the soil, we are using inputs, we are killing many of them when it was in natural condition. So what you need to do to try to be back with the same or similar conditions, see nematodes, we need to develop a rotation system. And I saw this presentation today, uh, Sergio, of the presentation of the, my friend, uh, Dr. Duke Clapperton showed, I don't know if you was there, some of you, he did talk about the companion plants. Dr. Jim is there, he's a wonderful. So this is companion plants. I saw in England last year, one presentation guy, exactly the same direction with Dr. Jim. He showed that we are born not to stay alone. We are born to stay, the man needs the woman, the woman needs the man, so you are not and he showed different places in the world. They showed the wheat where it is. We show the, the, the rice, monocrop, sugar cane. We put in monocrop. If you go in the forest, it's very, very difficult or not impossible to see just one species. And he did many studies with the faba bean, feverol, together with the maize, and measuring every day, every moment, the whole uptake. And he saw that faba bean produce an enzyme. This enzyme goes to the, the maize roots and the maize roots immediately send another enzyme to this faba bean. And this faba bean produce, increase the nitrogen, 79% of the air here is 92. It's, it's N2, is nitrogen. The air is gas. What's happened? And they improve the fixation and at the same time are feeding the the, the the maize roots. So, companion plants, one helping each other, and the weeds and the, the pests, like Dr. Gilles showed, all these things, and looking for this, and this is local. This is not a um, rule, oh, are you, which is the best one? Oh, it's good when you're in SA, you'll be safe. No, you need to test different species to see in your plot or different sandy soil, different soil that you check, which are, it works better. So this is the word revolution. This is also this is the diapositive of Dr. Jill Clapperton. So this is one of the word revolution, the bioactivation, the biological fertility that for many, many years was loose or nobody or very few people was thinking about that. And this is the fauna of soil, different size of organisms with this, some microflora, microfauna. This is soil fungi, mycorrhiza. This is 17 years in Brazil. You are seeing here, not so clear, but these are not the roots. This is a fungi, this is mycorrhiza. The mycorrhiza, this one here, no? The mycorrhiza fungi, the last three, four years, is the microorganism that more is studied in the world. Why? Because the results are fantastic. The, the, the pastures, the forests, so maybe 85 or more percent of the nutrients comes by this mycorrhizae responsible for them. So this is, and, you, and what's happened with this population? This is natural. When you use excessive uh, lime, gypsum, or some side, insecticide, a fungicide, a caricide, a herbicide, you are killing this organism. This is, can improve 80% of the, the ectomycorrhizae outside of the roots to uptake water 
to release phosphorus bottle in order to have more available for the plant. You see here, this is in Brazil, this is, this is Jonathan Farm in Minas Gerais. You can see all of many of these, this is soya bean, are mycorrhiza fungi. Increase the release of phosphorus. Increase. This is one of the three soil quality indicators all over the world. One is soil organic carbon, soil organic matter. Another one is mycorrhiza fungi. And another one, which one is? Organic carbon, mycorrhiza, and earthworm. Earthworm. You see in the mycorrhiza fungi, symbiosis with most crops, spore outside the roots, and make a strong, in many plants, different crops, has the different dependence of this. And this is glomalin. There are so many farmers to, to say the concept of glomalin. We wrote a paper with Dr. Elcio Balota, he's a friend of us, now he's a professor in, 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 in uh, Texas and AM University. He, he, he did two post PhD, post PhD, just in mycorrhiza. He's professor now. So the glomalin, this is what the root normally. This is a effect of the ectomycorrhiza, the continuity of this. The literature said that maybe more than 80, 80, 80 percent of the phosphorus that one plant, one grass, one flower, one crop, one tree uptake, it comes by mycorrhiza, via mycorrhiza, it cross by mycorrhiza. And this, when the mycorrhiza, this fungi uh, decay or they are dead, this are glomalin, like something like the, the register here. So you plant something, some crop here, of course, here has more nutrients available, this is what phosphorus, whatever, and these plants follow many of these small pores or the small channel that the roots left for the next crop. You see the mycorrhiza, sorry this is in Portuguese, increase the nutrients absorption by plants, increase, you see 79% of phosphorus, this is international data, not mine, increase more than 60% of potassium, you see the calcium, you see magnesium, you see the zinc, it can increase by mycorrhiza 93%, you see the copper 97%, so, a huge amount of nutrients, it can be increased by the population of the mycorrhiza. So, you need to create mycorrhiza. We need to improve the, our mycorrhiza in our garden, in our grasses area, in our, in our forage pasture, one and one your crops. You see here, increase the, uh, the, the population of mycorrhiza. You see the roots without mycorrhiza, you see root with mycorrhiza. You see? Phosphor rationalization, so use less phosphorus. You don't need too much many times. If you need, you need to apply. If you don't need, why you apply? Maior eficiência da adubação. Fertilize, you increase the efficiency of chemical fertilizer if you need. Melhor captação de água. More water will be captured by this fungi and more resistant with root disease. It's okay, no problem. Where is Jill? Oh, it's left. This is data from Jill. Jill Clapperton, one of his presentation in America. We've, we've been many in Ukraine. We've been in Canada together. We've been in this. He showed you that the group of the, the wheat producer is the second, it's half a million hectare of wheat. He's gone to substance. It's the second wheat quality group in the world. And this data show, what is show this data? show that mycorrhiza, vesicular, muscular mycorrhiza fungi present high dependency, low dependency, no host. Means that if our systems, you grow every year canola, we grow our mustard, white mustard, yellow mustard, and other brassica with radish, crumby, and others, and lupin, yellow lupin, white lupin, Blue lupin. These are the three most common in the world. There are more than a thousand different kinds of lupin. Means that they are not good. And also wheat is here. So if your rotation system has wheat in this crop, you are not promoting the increasing of mycorrhiza. You need to put something different. 
Ah, means that the, the cruciferous species like brassicas or like uh, reddish or mustard, the radish, the brassica, the main point, they are not promoting the, the mycorrhiza fungi, but they promote some enzyme, acid phosphatase. Phosphatase acida is wonderful to, the, to release phosphorus. They promote on the roots, the root exudate, a lot of this enzyme made by the root exudate and microorganisms that is very efficient. And here, high dependence means when you put peas, beans, and other different legumes, flax, crotillarias, sun hemp, and others, there are more than a thousand crotillarias. In Brazil, we have four. We have, uh, you see later on, Ocroleuca, more than one million hectares. We have uh, Spectabilis, sorry, Spectabilis, the first one, more than three million hectares. Uh, Ocroleuca, one million hectares. We have sun hemp. Five half million hectares and Breviflora, this fourth one, also very efficient to increase the population of mycorrhiza. Cowpea, sunflower, maize, the old warm season, cereals, potato and other root crops, most tropical plants and trees, also very efficient to increase the mycorrhiza population. And also, this mycorrhiza, this is one bioanalysis. When you put some special product, this is one product that by motivation, you are increasing the population of mycorrhiza. Oh, this result from Peter Sicaba, very uh, strong, one of the strongest uh, agronomy faculty in Brazil, uh, increasing the, the colonization of the population. This word that I told you before, very important diagnosis. How do you put? Depends. How do you put what? Need pesticide? Maybe not. Maybe you can put some, I uh, have some weeds. So this diagnosis is the basic to start it things. This is in Portuguese, sorry. This is some root disease. Danos indiretos causados por nematodes. So the nematodes is a verm. When it goes into the root, it touches the root. What's happened? He make like a, let's say, un ferimento, una pequena ranura, small, small damage into the roots. And this is an open door for the root disease. With the root disease, my friend. Right, so we lose these two years in Brazil million tons of Sabine because the Rhizoctonia, Pition, Macrofomina, Fusarium, uh, Sclerotinia, Sclerotiorum. So, and we have, for example, uh, Trichoderma. It's very efficient fungi. Harziano, the best one, because he can decrease the population of Rhizoctonia, Fusarium, Pition, Verticillium, Fusarium, uh, Mofo Branco, Sclerotinia, Sclerotiorum. This fungi that you can apply is, is a biological. You decrease these things and also will help to decrease also the nematodes. So the nematodes is a problem with the roots and also is a problem to open the door for different root disease. Each root disease can attack all vegetable crops, grain crops, and different crops, according to the conditions. Biological conditions, according to the climate conditions. This is our long-term experiment. Yes, please. Um, yes, so the nematodes are important, and it's a vector of maladi, d'entrée. Mais donc euh, la lutte des nématodes, c'est euh, par la rotation, je vais expliquer. La rotation des cultures permet de lutter contre les nématodes. Mais aussi, vous avez expliqué que la, dans la biologie du sol, il y a des, des champignons qui permettent aussi d'attaquer les nématodes, enfin de, de lutter contre les nématodes. Est-ce que vous okay. pouvez plus right. expliquer le rôle des champignons dans yes. les... Yes. Yes. OK. For example, for Later on, we have some more details, but I'll tell you. For nematodes, according to the population, yeah, there is some table, but this is table in mainly USA and some European country. In Brazil, they are producing this, but this is table not reliable. Yeah, until 500, 1,000 is high or uh, medium. But the nematode, when you have a high population, for example, two, 3,000, we have some areas with 25, 30,000 Pratilengus bacillus individual, per 10 grams of dry root is high population. 
These are eating uh, 10, 15, means 901 ton of soybean, less with this. This is high population. What do you do? You need to rotate with some cover crops that has reproduction factor low for nematode. I showed you later on. Some special plants that decrease that species of nematode. Some species for many times, it can decrease the different population of nematodes. Sometimes it's specifically for that nematode. It is one thing. In another, we have a lot of biological products. For example, we have a bacillus bacteria. We have a product in, I'm sure, here in other countries. We have some product with five bacillus together. This is, is fantastic. We have another one. For example, Pycelomyces is a fungi that it can uh, predator, is a predator for eggs of nematodes, for female of nematodes. So when you put this, you can decrease Pratilex brachyurus, you can decrease Meloidogen incognita, you can decrease Meloidogen jabanica, you can decrease Eterodera, you can decrease different nematode species with the biological products, we have Poconia, we have many others, Pseudomona and other different biological approach, bi uh, uh, plants that uh, uh, very low reproduction factor of nematodes, it not uh, increase the nematode population, and also we have some, uh, we call this uh, promoter or soil and plant bioactivators that increase the whole microbiota. When you increase the whole microbiota, normally you achieve the equilibrium faster. We know this two, three, four years ago with a professor, Dr. Maria Finke from the University of Kessel, very clever lady. He, we, we did a part of the um, project, international project in 19 countries with the, the European Union. And this lady is from, this is, she's phytopathologist, but she knows a lot, huge experience, and went many times in Brazil. And he taught us that normally the good, if you can, you can ask, if you can call, organisms are the majority are 97, 98 percent. We didn't know. We didn't read this any time. And the bad organisms, if you can call, Fusarin, because all of them, there are some participation in the whole web. But if you can, you can attack plants, Fusarion and others, and some nematodes, they are a minority. These are 2, 3 percent. I said to her, why? Because they are attack our plants. Because the good one, 97, 98, are fragile. They kill Quickly, when you are doing plowing, you are using some uh, uh, uncalibrated, some inputs, we are killing these good organisms and the other increasing population. When you promote the old biodiversity, when you promote the old soil and plant bioactivation, all organisms, population will increase. When you increase the old, the majority are good. She said to us that just Fusarium has more than 200 natural enemies, antagonic organisms. So when you Bring this for the equilibrium. The bad one is minority. You'll be okay. Oh, this is, is wonderful. The nematodes, if you go in the forest or in the area, untouchable area, 99% of the nematode population are good. They not attack the plants. 25% of the nitrogen cycling belong to the, 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 these nematodes. But you are killing the good nematodes. Just the strong one that is a problem are staying in our system. So he said, she said to Titas that when you have your plot, you have some disease problem in this area, means that one red flag, the nature, mother nature, I put a red flag, say, hello, here you are in disequilibrium. Hello, here you have a problem with nematode because you promote disequilibrium. So when you, the mother nature, when you're in equilibrium, it's okay. It works. We visited here in Italy. My friend said from Italy. Our friends from Camporbiano in, in Toscana, in Tuscany. My friends, they have 32 years working, 500 hectares, without using any chemical. You go there to see the wheat. You go there to see cover crops. It's unbelievable. Why? Equilibrium. Physical, chemical, and biological equilibrium. This, you can do that. This many times are not in the book, are not in the mouth of the sellers. I'm sorry. It's okay, a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, oh, yes, another question. Come on. 
If it's so difficult, Pastor Sergio. <laughs> Go ahead, my friend. Vous, euh, vous aviez parlé de produits pour booster euh, la vie dans le sol pour, euh, par rapport au problème de nématode ou autre. Vous, mettiez des, vous appliquez quelque chose pour augmenter la vie dans le sol Est-ce que vous pouvez euh, développer ça un petit peu ou... Yes. What's your name Marc. Yeah. So, my friends, I don't like to talk this. I'm a consultant to this company now. This one company from Switzerland, I didn't mention any time, I think this one, uh, uh, that word, this one company that 40, 40 years now, Brazil have uh, almost 1 million hectares of this, this technician. I talked with Dr. Ernest yesterday, today in the lunch time. He works with the quantic physics. Is one thing that they developed uh, more than 40 years. Also, he is in France. In Brazil, have one million hectares and different crops. And what's happened? This thing <laughs> is something different. Something uh, when I, I listened the first time, uh, maybe Serge doesn't believe yet. <laughs> Seven years ago, when I, I saw this, I just know this is not true. But this is true. Now it's in 42 countries. Which countries? France, England, China, USA, Canada, Brazil, Argentina, and many other countries. Switzerland, Bulgari. Bulgari is the largest. We saw the Bulgari now 18, 19 tons of maize per hectare. Bulgari is on the, the highest crop yield. Canola, wheat, sunflower and maize in all Europe. So it's something that they develop information on quantum physics. Something Nikola Tesla, they put like a reactor. I've been four times. I've been in the international meeting. It doesn't matter. This is one in Switzerland. The last one is in, in another. The previous one was in La Davo. And the last one in the last year in Germany. That will be there next week with the farmers, the no-till farmers. So in this, it can, it is not, you can eat this, it is, it is not, nothing, there is nothing, there is no, no product, no principal active, there is nothing. Just information, a powder, could be, uh, uh, could be, uh, yes, could be uh, calcium carbonate, could be a dolomite, could be, uh, uh, what is the liquid when you take the sugar from the sugar beet? What do you call it? Melas. It should be in the melas. You put there, but this is just a vehicle. You are bringing energy. In this energy, explode the population. We have many PhD theses. We have many data. And explode the population, mainly mycorrhiza. When I ask you this question today, the mycorrhiza, we have 159, 160 persons. The mycorrhiza in three, four months with this. So I'm working with 42 years cover crop. It improved 20, 25. When you put this, go to almost 200% quickly. And this is I4 stopping in, 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 in this stamp in many, four or five in Europe, is using also in organic, and now in Brazil, not organic, are using this. It works. It increases the microorganisms, all the population. And also, when I apply on the plants, it's unbelievable. I didn't believe six months, but I saw. With the chlorophyllometer, like this, we go the 10 meters. I did it 30 times in Maranhão, 30 times in Cascavel, 30 times in Passo Fundo. It increased the chloroplast, increased the chlorophyll, and the plant making more photosynthesis. This is true, scientifically proven. This is a very nice tool, but you need all of others to put together. OK? You understood? They are you okay, John. No, I said that this is one tool. No, but you need the all water tools. They use discuss the physical aspect, the good plant that everybody say, the good soil covering. So I work in this company. My job is to promote these cover crops. When you put the cover crops, all this, and you put together, we will see some data. You ask it. I didn't. Uh, it was not uh, my intention to detail about this, 
because this is one company, but it's, it works properly. It is from the nature, there is no principle activity, there is nothing inside, just information from quantic physics. No? You know that there is a lot of doctors in the world now working. I have a friend, Agostinho Silvestri, from Rio Grande do Sul. He's an agronomist. 34 years ago, we were together. Now he's 15 years doctor. He works with the people. Quantic physics, no drugs, zero drugs, just to quantify and cure the people. So this is science now, okay? So this is the, our experiment. This now with 33 years, a lot of uh, the data, more than 28 different uh, article, scientific, nine international, 11 theses here, PhD, five, six uh, uh, master. This we have 12 different cover crops during. 33 years, my friend, it's not one year, it's not two years, in 33 years, we learn a lot this, not myself. I started in 1986, Dr. Daniel Tessier, people from here, from France, Dr. Bill Hargrove from the USA, uh, Maria Fink from University of Germany, and many others in the world help us, from Brazil, Danny, Danilo, uh, Professor Ralish, Fatima and others. So, different cover crops, rotate, these we have in conventional, we have it in, in no-till, uh, rotative maize, and also soybean. This is the experiment, three application. This is one lady, very famous in Brazil. What he did, what she did. She got on an area in Cerrado, Savana, with uh, this soybean and uh, fallow for three years with this team for Embrapa, and uh, uh, the federal Brazilian research system and he saw comparing with this with when you put some brachiata some cover crops what's happened in microbial biomass so increasing three times when you put cover crops increases some enzyme of the microorganism beta glycosidase sulfatase and also you can see here that this is the treatment one and treatment three is improved the system you see pH What's happened? It's increasing soil organic matter one and a half times in three years. And they developed this and they published this. It was the first re re research, scientific research in the world. They got a prize in America and USA, was published there. They saw in one zone, one area, specific, they developed they uh, evaluated the chemical, physical aspect, the biological, the different microorganisms, and they saw the most correlation was not the, the type for that condition, for that condition, for that climate, for that three years, is important, the result located, was not uh, the type of kind of microorganism, was the enzyme. So they saw that it developed this table, low, moderate, adequate. You just make this evaluation, microbial biomass, Basal respiration, no? This is, is a, a soil sample. These are blocked, and you take it, evaluate the CO2 that produced it by the respiration of the microorganism, the cellulase, the phosphatase acid. This is wrong, this phosphatase acid. Which is the cover crop that's good for this? What is the best one? One of the best? Reddish. Oh, cruciferi. They are not the best for. The mycorrhiza, mycorrhiza go to another plant, but the phosphatase, yes, this is very strong. And they saw, and the real sulfatase, when you go this level, they saw they don't need to check the soil chemical analysis. They don't need to check all aspects. This enzyme showed that the soil is perfect, is a good shape to produce high crop yields. Okay, but this is a local, that was developed, this was very nice. Showing that the, the enzyme is very important. Dr. Jill works with this and different enzyme, different things that is a product of the microorganism. So the cover crop, my friend, it works, you know, just to remember you in different crops. I don't tell you, just show you quickly, you see, different things. We are working this in cabbage. We are working also this principle in perennial crops. My friends, just remember, we are working now, Jill, with uh, uh, the largest orange tree producers from South America, a group, a team. It's 20, 23 consultants, this group. 
Just start the last year work with them. We cover crops, other things. They, they take care of 122,000 hectares of orange. 123,000 hectares of orange trees. And the first meeting, and the coordinator said for us, how many spray you, do you think that you are doing in this more than 100,000 hectares? One said two, another five. I remember I said 11, and another da, da, da. He said, we need to change this. Tenemos que mudar, cambiar. He said like this. And he said, five, no, 50. 50 spray, my friends. And you take a good orange juice. No, this is water, no? <laughs> oh, it's nice. 50 sprayers. 50 times they are spraying this 120. So, it's too much, my friends. What you are drinking, what you are doing. He said, we need to change this. And now they are with the cover crops, these are companion plants. They are with promoting more mycorrhiza, promoting other aspects to make the arrangement to decrease this. To put some plants that can uh, create some uh, flights that control the, the trips, control another small. You need to promote this, look for some special plants. You see more what the cover crops can do. Now, can compacted layer, can bring nutrients, can create uh, um, not good condition for nematodes, can create not good condition for root disease. All these things together. And if you put more and more, you have this sum, this. Black coat to come I go quickly. See, this is Paraguay. Jill was here, Jill, in Iguazu. This is the, the, the region. Here we work here with uh, 29 farms, 12 years. This is on the border of the big, one of the big, now the second dam in the world. And see our farmers, we are using black oat over soy. And when amazes, this, we are just over soy. Black oat, white oat, radish, common vet, hairy vet. And the main, uh, the maize, 45, 50 centimeters to close. And it stop to grow. When it is a shadow, when it starts to come to some light, it grows again. It's you no know, weeds. Why? Because weeds, the majority of the weeds is covered in soil, yes, but are multiplying nematodes. Many of them are multiplying root disease. Hurry back, 120 kilos of nitrogen per hectare. We can get it. You see, corner maize over hairy vet without herbicide here, just a knife roller. You can see here in Georgia, USA, black coat soil saver. Where is you? Dew. This was Wayne Reeves from the USDA. Many years we worked together, came there, I came to UGA, very interested in this. And you have one variety of black oat, it calls Eapart 6 to 1. So he saw, oh, I need this. Okay, we sent to him two bags for 80 kilos, and he planted in, uh, at that time he was in Alabama University in Georgia. He planted very cold snow, 10, 12 degree, 13 degree below zero. What's happened? 98, 90 percent of the plant was killed. But he find some that survived and took the seeds. Next year, so in four years, he developed one variety. It was approvement of the Iapar Institute and the Brazilian government. They launched this variety in USA, soil saver. It can support 14 degrees below zero, my friends. This is one very, very nice black coat. This is a farmer that we visit together with this crimson clover. Pardon? Yes, this is Trifolio Incarnato. Together here. This black oat. You can plant cotton, you can plant beans, soybean, vegetables. Wonderful. Oh, this is, this is dark here. He is the farm, he is 20, 20 hectares with, uh, with uh, pumpkins and melon. Yeah, 50 acres, you see. Mr. Nick in Georgia, we visited them, that they're using. And he's a professor from the University of uh, Places, Franz, Franz Flops, very famous scientist from the uh, from, uh, University of Georgia. Yes, please. Go ahead. Wait. Very good, Joe. Go ahead, your 
contribution important here. All of us need to talk. We need to learn each other. Can you speak in the microphone? Yeah, okay. Um, did you, uh, is Soil Saver Av Avina Stragoza? Where? Is Soil Saver Avina Stragoza? Yes, Avina Stragoza, Shreb, yes. Okay. That's why I'm asking because. Bernice Trigosa, yes, black. So black I'm oats. gonna. I'm, something that you wouldn't know is that there are black oats that ah. are not Avina Strigosa, and it's really important that it be Avina Strigosa. There's one other variety now that's available, it's called Cossack. Yes. And it's also Avina Strigosa, but all the rest of them that are called black oats are Avina Sativa. Yes. So just for Very people nice. to know. So he said that is that these are Venice Trigosa and another one are not good. The Venus Trigosa are the black oats. Yes. And the Via Sativa is the regular oats, the white oats. Yes. Yeah. And you have a lot of uh, Venus Sativa. Yeah. The most common is the white oat. The most common is. And it doesn't work as well as the Venus Trigosa. Venus Trigosa is really good. You saw? Venus Trigosa is very good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's bon, c'est bon. Avena negra, black oat, because it's more resistant, it's more rustic, it can grow more, produce more biomass. Thank you, Jill. Okay, so my friend, there are so many, I will just mention some of these species. This is this blue lupin, Yapar 24, and this is white lupin, and crimson clover, some legumes, you can mix it rye, black oat, all these rotative wheat, corn, sorghum, different possibilities. You see this, the earthworm, wonderful. So this was 2002. So oh, this is in Portuguese. Black coat, aveia negra, strigosa, hairy vetch, aveia noir, hairy vetch, reddish. White lupin, segli, rye, and pea, field pea, Yapar 83. I'm a not, uh, I don't know if you know, I am a not a uh, breeder, but we developed this in mass selection. We developed this Yapar 83, yarn in six county, works nicely. When you mix this here with the farmers here, in 2002. So the idea is one grass, two grass, one legume, two legume, three legume, you are ready. One cruciferi. Crucifera is good for what? To recycle what? Sulfur. The best one, sulfur, N and P. The, uh, legume to take the nitrogen. And like Jill and other friends said, Avena uh, Estrigosa, black oat is good to decrease fusarium, to decrease the root disease, very strong root system, and also very allelopathic effect to control weeds. Very nice to control weeds. Okay, go. What oh, is in 77 here? I'm here. If you have this recipe for it to become very thin, please give me, because it's not easy. You have 64 kilos. This is a German corporation. You have the ready. And Rolf Derps, my guru, brought the first. Do you know very well Rolf Derps, our friend, 87, 88 years. One of the guests as well, Sergio. He's my good friend, my guru. And he brought to Latin America the first raffano sativo in Latin America. We have just raffano raffanistro. This is a strong weed. By this, siletina, sileta nova, slobod, neris, all these five varieties. He brought to America. Now this is a wonderful. It's, ah, but you have a problem with sclerotina. It is a, a host of sclerotina. Some flower is a host of sclerotinia. Canola is a host, yes, it is. But if you put these two kilos in the mix, you put some flour, two kilos, why some flour? Because some flour, 30 years, our oldest institute in Brazil, IAC, São Paulo, 
show that is the best plant for is a hostage of the mycorrhiza. So, depending on the amount, it's not a problem for mycorrhiza. Many people, oh, take care with the radish. No, we put two kilos with rye, with black oat, with permillet, with buckwheat, with another. You do nothing for the fusarium. And nothing with the sclerotinia. This, my friend, is his experience. We learn in the experience during the years. Because this, if you want the clean water, the pure water, go in the stream. You are the calm, the pure water. Not listen something, ah, cannot. No, put this to kill. No, take care. The modern nature is our wisdom. So, when you manage these cover crops and deal with one of the best in the world, my friends, you are one of the two, three best famous microbiologist in the world. He is my friend, Jill Clapperton. So, this, when you put these cover crops, and you imagine is this, and you put it this, like this. Oh, this doesn't work. Normally it works here. It doesn't work here. And you see some nutrient is coming, the microorganisms, soil labors, and in the end, to promote the humus. I'll tell you a very short history, my friends. Many people said in our books in Brazil, professor, I must do something in some university as well, that for to increase the soil organic carbon, to, our, to sequestering carbon that is important in our system, you need to add as more as possible the amount of crop residue. But you don't stop to plow or the minimum disturbance, soil disturbance, it's okay. Not burn by this carrying or by fire, it's okay. But you have something more that many times in the concept is not clear. We saw this example, I, will, I didn't prepare a figure, but I'll tell you, it was in Franca, São Paulo state, 50 hectares of a farm in the sugarcane area, is a no-till sugarcane, they don't incorporate the residue, they don't burn by fire, it's around 19, 20 tons of dry mass of sugarcane every year goes on the top. It was 12 years study by uh, IACE, Agronomic Institute, of the oldest institute in Brazil. And they did the soil evaluation, the soil service, soil analysis, every year with the, como se fala? Is, uh, use the, but exactly the same place. GPS, is that right? Or GPS, to evaluate all nutrients. In the end, there is a strong meeting after these 12 years. 12 years, you can put 19, 21, you put 20 tons of dry mass per hectare, means 240 tons of dry mass, the total. Without plow, the sugar cane. In the end, there are representation, 25 people, post PhD, very famous farmers, and they put the graphs. And the first year increasing 0 to the soil organic carbon. The next year goes down 0 to 3, another 0 to 5. 12 years, do you know, with the high amount, it's almost three times the amount of that you put in our annual crops in Brazil. You understand me? After 12 years, do you know what's happened with the organic carbon or the organic matter? Nothing. Do you know what's uh, happened? 49% of the clay content. Do you know in Franca what's happened with the organic carbon? Not just zero, the increasing. He said, people said, what's happened? This is wrong. And the guy, the agronomists are there. No, it's not wrong. I did the evaluations here with repetition, replication. And many people said something, another postdoc said something, another doctor, a doctor, many doctors. And one friend of us, Antonio Teixeira, professor, 14 years of agronomy in Uberaba, four years or president or was director of the agronomy, he said, excuse me, everybody look, this is living soil. Living soil, suelo vivo, solo vivo, what do you mean the living soil? This agriculture de vivant. Huh? He said, well, what does it mean this? So the discussion was not that time. They didn't, uh, uh, there is no so big evolution. Okay, he started there. And later on, days after, they came 
to evaluation. What did they saw the evaluation? There is strong compaction due. There is a lot of uh, the residue of sugar cane. They put too much and they kill many microorganisms. They was very compacted. And the whole amount of this crop residue, 240 tons put in the top, transforming like in your, no, in our, what is this? <laughs> CO2, transforming CO2, nothing goes into the soil. Why? Physical problem, biological problem. You need the microorganisms. If you want to save, do you show this, all of the, you need the microorganisms to increase the humus, the humification, to bring the soil car organic carbon into the soil, the sequestering of organic carbon. Are you evaluate, you see the, the, our experiment with many years now. The time is very short, but you need to go, my friends. So, you can see the root system, you can see the difference, the root system important for the crops, in important, the uh, Gasler said it uh, today, Jill Klepper and others, the importance of biomass on the surface, but the root system is most important, more effect. No? You see the sugar cane here in Brazil? They are managing this wonderful sun hemp, more than 70 tons of uh, green mass. You see, this is a small farmer, the big farmer don't do that. They do different. You see this is the knife roller, and here is the open the, the, the furrow, and they put the sugar cane here. This, just sun hemp, it can increase 10 tons of sugar cane per hectare. 10 tons. This is unbelievable, the sun hemp, that you have a lot in, in, in USA, in Georgia, and many other countries. This is a no till planters, evolution. You see, this is black oat. You see here, oops. If you see here, this tree here, this is a sign of this is a rough dirt uh, in, the, in Paraná, with the black oak was planted, you can see here, this. No herbicide here, my friend, just knife roller and a milk stage. Of course, there are some different, this is uh, Avena Noir, black oak, Avena Strigosa, very good one, 85, 90% and milk stage, you just pass knife roller, you see knife roller, it works perfectly. Man, you decrease the use of herbicide. Not you don't use more herbicide. You are decreasing the side as much as possible. Soil compaction. You need to check this compaction. You see, less nitrogen, less root, less oxygen, less soil life. Like you and others show us. This is important to check if what's happening. You see, this is uh, Crotillaria spectabilis. There is this. The roots, they have one substance, it, it, it causes monocrotalin. So the 75-80% of the female of nematodes need to go into the roots to put the eggs, to lay the eggs. And this decreases, because this crotillaria is less than 1% of the reproduction factor. And this is good for different kinds of nematodes, for pratilencus, for... Uh, not root nematodes, for lesion nematodes, cyst nematodes, all these kind of nematodes it can control. If it is too strong, the compaction, you can go for a tissue, but many times you don't need. Our experiment now is 32, I told you, 33 years, 73% of clay, there is no till, we never touch the soil. 33 years, 73% of clay, Never touch the soil, just the roots, just the plants, just the earthworms. Yes, you can do. And this is the knife roller. The knife roller, our farmers started around almost 40 years, 35, 36 years, with the big, uh, how to say, uh, of the wood, of the, the tree, and put some old truck springs. And the Iaparao Institute went there, our friends, and you start to develop this. And now it's in many countries in different size. You can see here with three bodies. This here is this reddish, black oat, and field pea. Four years in a farmer. Very nice, very nice results. You can see here is from the, the yes, the Rodeo Institute, our friends. You can see here is rye 
and, 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 and very vetch. This is in Ukraine. He was there many times. We put here different cover crops in a few days showing this. And this is in Brazil now. This is called Katrina. 100, 120, 130 hectares per day. So the mix you just pass this is a wonderful because the mulch, this, this knife is not to cut, it's just to smash to avoid the sap, the circulation of the sap. Sap? Yes, sap. Sap. A save, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is very new. This is two weeks ago. This is a very nice lady and his <laughs> husband. We did this and this. And this farm there was 12, 13,000 nematodes or pratilencos. They have some uh, 480 hectares, almost half, uh, 500 hectares. They grow beans, they grow some tomatoes and some maize for the companies, but there are problem with nematodes. We saw in diagnostic summer compaction, there are some root disease. We said, okay, we go with the mixing cover crops, use a per millet black oat radish, spectabilis, ocroleuca, buckwheat, biological products, soil plant bioactivation. We grow, they harvest just two and a half, three weeks ago, six ton of Sibin per hectare. It's really fantastic. In two years, they decrease the nematodes, they decrease the root disease, and every year it goes, down, goes up with this Lelis family. And this is also the good fed farm, Uberaba, and different mixing cover crops. This is an Uberaba farm. This is one a Boa uh, Bon Futuro group. This is the man. Okay, this is the, one, the owner. This is the agronomist that I know in Brazil earn more than 150,000 US dollars per month. And this man, they plant his family three half million hectares of grains. Half million hectares is the highest Sibin grain producer in the world. What they came here to see? What kind of cover crops? Yes, it's half million hectares. 200, almost 300,000 of Sibin, 146 with maize. 125, 130,000 with cotton and 100,000 cows per year. So they came here with this, this manager to see. I'm not saying about this. I say, what they came here, spend one day, you are there to check which cover crop I need to do. Is a mix. When? Two, three, four, six, seven. Which biological product you do, I use. What I need to do, because you use a lot of, of inputs that you have available in the world. So you have four, five, six, uh, uh, jato. Uh, yes, but it come and visit the world, but they knew <laughs> the solution maybe is around. You see the different edges you cannot see here because it's dark, but you see here these mix cover crops. These mix are bringing 140 kilos of nitrogen per hectare. 55 kilo of P2O5, almost 400 kilos of potassium. Cycling, this mixing cover crops here, my friends. Per millet, spectabro, coleoca, buckwheat, finger millet. We are doing this. We did this living soil project. I'm coordinating this project in this uh, enterprise that I'm a consultant. In 92 farmers in different states in Brazil. Some started with 5, 10 hectares. In the second year, some farmer came to 800, 1,000 hectares, because the result is coming very soon. Biological products, mixing cover crops, all other aspects was equilibrated, and some soil and plant bioactivation. Also for coffee, we use a lot of different cover crops. You can see here for wind, and this is with pigeon pea. And this we start with the, the, our cover crops. Some small farmers using your cover crops here. This is his companion plants. This is black oat in hairy vetch, common vetch. Here is Necrotolari spectabilis together with maize. This is uh, peanuts, no two peanuts over sugar cane. This is no two tobacco in Santa Catalina state. Onion no till. Onion no till. Onion no till, my friend. This is in the, on the, 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 the border of uh, Sao Paulo, Minas Gerais. 
96 ton, 96 toneladas, 96,000 kilos of onion per hectare in no till. Wonderful, fantastic. This man and your farmers it was the first. This is some friends of us, the, some farmers that you are using, we are working. You can see here, soybean, sorry, it's in English, it's in Portuguese, soybean, opa, soybean, yield. What is it? did not appear here, but here there was black oat, there was buckwheat, there was radish, there was uh, vet. They achieved 84 bags, mean 60 kilo. More than five tons per hectare soybean. It means 60% this was activated and mixing cover crops and rotation. 30 bags means 1.8 tons more than the normal. It does not appear here, but this is the control. This is the mixing different plants. You see, we increase almost two tons just to put the suitable, to fit the suitable mixing cover crop in that plot with this farmer. This data from Mato Grosso do Sul, you can see here, it increases 60 tons with these mixing cover crops. Organic coffee, we are working a lot of this. This is photo, this is very nice farmer, also this. This is recently, a month ago. This is two weeks ago. Farmers, you have here sunflower, you have here pear millet, finger millet, two crotalarias. We have here seven, eight cover crops with the, this is an organic farm, coffee farmer. They have a group, not all group organic, there's a few. This is another organic, here, this is a big, this is Fazenda, uh, Fazenda da Toca, you, you must visit there. This is the group of the, what do you say, Sugar Lom, uh, he was, uh, Yes, was a Pedro, Pedro Diniz is managing this. 12 years, 2,300 hectares, 53 families there. He go without, choose Pedro. It's unbelievable. Sugar cane, 100,000 eggs, organic per day. Sugar, uh, uh, orange juice, milk. Now this 1,000 hectare with maize, is soybean, Fazenda Takaoka, another one. They are coming this year with 6,000 hectares organic way. E, yes, it works. It's more difficult. Yeah, it, yes, it, there is. It is. But the, the soil are very happy. Co coffee mixes the cover crop in improving the soil life. We need to gently promote soil and plant bioactivation. We need to activate this, the life of this, our soil with cover crops, with composting, with what do you have? Some biological products. What do you have? You need to do this as more as possible. Buckwheat, wonderful buckwheat. Butterfly pea, very nice in very dry condition. Finger millet, you see finger millet, my friends. Six to eight tons per hectare. Do you know who, is, who brought it to Brazil, this plant? Lucien Segui Buzinag, from, from Cihad. They brought to Brazil? This, in this, we are working this in an in, in, in area with uh, the mixed with the cover crops, with the coffee plantation, and another. This is a wonderful. Six to eight tons of dry roots with a Zospirillum brasiliense, it can improve to six to eighty kilos of nitrogen with this bacteria free life, be delivery. No, not symbiosis. This is. Fantastic for sandy soil. We are working this three, four kilos in the mixing, two kilos of sunflower, two kilos of radish, 15, 20 kilos of oat, 12, 15 kilos of buckwheat. So you make the arrangement according to the agnostic. Oh, here there are some nematodes, there are compaction, there are some root disease. Okay, here you need 10, 11 cover crops, like Sergio, see later on and can talk in the, what he's doing in Italy. So this is the way, like you are doing in many places in his farm. This you need to develop. You need to bring for your farmers. This is in Paraná. You see here is sun hemp. It was just planting wheat over 
sun hemp. It's 40, 50 kilos of nitrogen. It's very strong, a little patrick fact, the sun hemp, Crotillaria juncia. Do you know the... What, what is the name in English name? It is sun, sun hemp. What does it mean, sun hemp? We call it sun hemp. Sun hemp is... Is marijuana. Is marijuana as well. No, no, no. No, no, no. The, 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 the name. Yes, it is. They call, yes. I remember when. I, yes, but not this. This is a very nice legume. Okay. You have to put your... Okay. Euh, ouais, par rapport à tous ces couverts euh, végétaux avec différentes espèces, quand euh, ils sont mis en terre, et combien de temps ils restent Combien ça dure la période de, de, de mise en place de ces... Ok, good. Good question. In a short time, you see this management. But it depends what do you want. There are some of these cover crops that is... The, almost the, the 90% are annual crops. E, so it goes growing in the vegetative stage, it grows when you go to the uh, fructification stage, reproductive stage. If you go there and you cut or you spray, it doesn't regrow again. But if it's in growing, in growing stage, you can pass a knife roller. You can take more 30, 40 days to grow more. Depend how long, how big. Normally, we start to 60, 65 days until 100, 120 days, 130 days. Different varieties, different uh, uh, aims that you have. How long do you want? We have some variety, for example, the black oat now, that the total cycle is six months, 180, 190 days. If he is growing, it can regrow in three, four, five times. It can regrow. You pass an knife roller, it regrow again. You have more 20, 25 days. So you, so you can make it elastic. You can spend more time and stay more your soil covering your plant growing. Okay. You can put your headphones. Okay. Moi, je voulais savoir, c'était quoi euh, vos critères euh, de mélange en couverts végétaux euh, Moi, je suis encore un peu novice, donc euh, j'ai pour habitude, de, enfin, pour habitude, pour petite habitude, de comment, de diviser la dose en plein par le nombre de variétés que je mets dans les couverts. Je ne sais pas si c'est la, la bonne technique, et je voulais savoir si, qu'est-ce que vous appliquez euh, chez vous Your question is <laughs> yes, good question. <laughs> yeah. in, in my opinion, yeah. These are not easy. They're not easy. Because if you if you take some different varieties according to the year, according to the season more rainfall, less rainfall. For example, some years in Paraná, my state, we put a lot of, some years, 60 experiment different. We have four years different. Uh, uh, for example, this year we, we, we lost soybean because a lot of rainfall after uh, sowing, 25, 30 days without rainfall. We have four years with to totally different. Do you know what we concluded? Nothing. Because when you saw somebody say, this is my experiment, this is my result, how many years? Ah, one year, two years. Go, my friend, sorry. I cannot believe one year. I believe in many years, because this is research, do you just say it like this? Yes, because this is different every year. For our condition, I don't know yours, dry condition, too many rainfall, is difficult, because if there are more rainfall, you, when you are sowing, we don't know if it, the rainfall will be in a normal condition, will be... You understand? But the different varieties, you can... Uh, there is no, uh, in my opinion, uh, you can... Ah, okay, I you do my mixing, what is the doses for this plant? Depends. The, for example, buckwheat, we vary from 12 to 25 kilos. 
Depends if there are the amount of weeds, because buckwheat is very strong, fast growing, like black oat, uh, allelopathic effects. It's 12 or 25. We need to know how it is your field. Oh, I have a lot of sclerotinia. You cannot put four, five, six kilos of radish. Maximum two kilos. Or any other plants. Later on, when I show some uh, slide of Sergio, Sergio, I ask him to tell a little bit. So, there is no, there is, there is no recipe. He started now, in two years. So, there is no recipe. No? We can, uh, we can, I can give you, we, there is no recipe. If you ask me how many, I don't know, I don't know. We are this in 25 years in the mixing. Which mixing is better? You said the criteria. Criteria, you need to have a very strong diagnostic. Chemical, physical, biological. What you are expect for your cover crops? What your soil are, you need to talk your soil. Your soil talk, yes, he talks. With the soil analysis, plant, biological, and also the yields. And you check the things, oh, the sulfur goes down with excessive, I need to put something that very efficient to goes down and bring the sulfur to take the nitrogen. And there is some disease, some nematodes. All these are the criteria that you need to take into account. You understand? And the amount depends. Do you want some more something for to break some compacted layer, something to aggregate, for example, sandy soil? This finger millet is, is brilliant. It's more efficient than millet. The finger millet is more efficient than pure millet. I'm experienced for the root disease. Ah, the sorghum. No, sudden grass is very good. But in our condition, if you have uh, root node nematodes, melodogen coital, javanica, I have farmers almost break down because of the, 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 the sorghum. Because it multiplies. It's a host of many nematodes. Nematodes, root disease, all these other aspects must be taken into account. There is no recipe, or is this one. And you need to read, need to contact the visiting farmers. I, there is no recipe. Okay? Yeah, there's one more question. All right. It's just to tell you, um, I worry because uh, I've... I am on the point one diagnostic, and what are the others? <laughs> the diagnostic is all of the, the other it's are inside. the first and the unique one. These are inside the diagnostic. Diagnostic, you need to check the health of the soil, the health of the farmer. Okay, no, but it, it was a joke. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, we yeah, we stay for tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, because the diagnostic, you see, if you said something, okay, for example, in, in some uh, counties now, we, we, now we, we are there, the farmer coming, Ademir, I need something that bring sulfur. Okay, we need some cruciferite. I need something to bring nitrogen. When you plant, it's, it's warm or it's cold. Oh, it's okay. So I oh, have two, these three. This is two, three. I need something that become the soil covering for more time. High, large CN ratio more carbons and le okay we have these grasses that you can put there so you put this you have 10 12 15 okay you can choose two this this okay this will be okay for you for this area in another area another plot ah oh, these i don't have that nematode this is on soil that is some rock some small you need something more okay so it's not easy you understand all right go ahead we have three hours more? No. <laughs> you see here the planting, the wheat here? We go fast now. Permillet in, in sun hemp, wonderful. You see? This is data from research 24 years ago I published it. 386 kilos of potassium. This goes down and bring. It's the best in the world. It's peniceto glaucum to bring potassium. It's pure millet. It's the best one in the world. The variety, I don't know, we do have here in France and other countries. In Brazil, we have more than 4 million hectares in Cerrado. 
more than 4 million hectares this cover crop. We have more than 11 million hectares with cover crops in Brazil. This is our friend Bart and others. This is 9 to 10 tons of dry mass. Herbicide, no. If you manage it per millilitre, 50% is flowering, you just pass knife roller. You need to have some time. 20, 30 days like this, you pass again knife roller. 0.3%, you don't need herbicide to manage. I want herbicide, okay, apply. You don't want it, okay, don't use. You decide. So my friend, you see here, this is a big farm, Minas Gerais. Oops, what's happened here? This was, uh, this is per minute. Here disappeared one thing here. This, is, this per minute was sold 3,000 hectares. This is 35,000 hectares, belongs to Mormon. 12, 11, 12,000 hectares in Minas Gerais. And these 3,000 hectares, they sow the per minute by plane. When? When? 20, 25 days before harvest the soybean. The soybean is a... When you harvest it, the millet is like this, because there is no rain for more. And they give one or twice uh, 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 grazing by animals. And this is a wonderful soil covering. It's a wonderful for decreasing sclerotinia, decreasing nematodes. This is the... You see, this farmer here, we tested 100 hectares. The, f the family 9,200 hectares, 59 center pivot. I went there the first time 13 years ago. When he saw two pivot, he harvested 200,000 bags of beans per year, many years. I saw two center pivot abandoned. Why? Too many tree nematodes, root disease, put more than 40, 50 products. He, no. Ademir, I saw there, which is the manager. We are just looking, said it. the analysis, three nematodes, a lot of root disease, okay. Here we try to do something. And this man said, which product you use, Ademir? No product, we use the modern nature. Modern nature, my natureza, what means this? We use the plants. Five kilos of sun ramp, five kilos of spectabilis, five kilos of coleoca, five kilos per minute. Why? Because we did this in research many years. We are not so, I do this. No, you need to test first. They did 100, 120 hectares. Here, okay? He planted 1,200 hectares. Never more he abandoned one season his center pivot. And they grow coffee now. <laughs> Wonderful. So, this is our friend from Canada, Phil Thomas, from the Canola. Man, I met him in, in Ukraine. Twice. There are 42, my friend, components for the crop yield. It's not just the climate, the seed, the water, and fertilizer and pesticide. No. And the coffee, they said there are 252 different things that will be effect. You see, variety, seed quality, seed bed, rotation, frost. All these things are important in what you can do to try to improve all soil attributes, chemical, physical, biological, to achieve the crop yields. Effects of mi mixed cover crops in continuous no-till and total organic carbon. It's from data from USA. You can see here the sequestration here. And according to your no-till and cover crops, you are increasing. And he said, ah, my no-till, it doesn't increase. Which no-till we're talking about? Which amount of cover crops? Which amount of soil life? Microorganisms like dew and glass and other set. This is an important component in order to have harmonious, harmonic soil management or different components to make the job. You see this? This reddish. You see? Rye cover crop and content. You see here? So, so many data. This is a, a, a very nice. Uh, published by Shirt. You see this? The Radi, our friend from Pennsylvania, that was with him. Steve Groff. Steve Groff, yes, the Radi. You see, my friends, 
This is the hole, no? And you see many phosphor parts per million. What's happened here? A lot of root exudates. A lot of which one that is important here to release phosphorus? Which one? I told you to remember. Acid phosphatase. Huh? Phosphatase acid. Not uh, uh, the, the mycorrhiza. Is this true, Ademir? Have a look in this data from USA. 140, 150 parts per million when you're close here. A lot of nutrients. You not to plow, you lose this. And you go, so when you go 1.2 inch, what's happened? 90. You see the difference? Because this, you make the result. The root is the date, not you. For microorganisms, for all life, for earthworm, for whatever. And you mix, you, you see here? Soil root created by oil seed reddish. Conventional and no till. You see? Conventional. You see no till. No till with cover crops in the top. Effects of cover crops, water infiltration in conventionally till and no till soils. Cover crops, root effects on soil aggregate formation. Fungal Wi Fi and soil structure units. There's a question? Question? Yes. You have to put your headphones on again. Thank you, Mary. Very nice, uh, this. Yes, there. <laughs> you consult him as well, his father. He's following your, he's following your footprint of father. Yes, good. Now, it's par rapport au radis. Euh, vous avez montré la racine, alors euh, la racine elle concentre les phosphates, c'est ça Le phosphore yes. pas, Et après, euh, qu'est-ce qui se passe Parce que la, la racine va rester dans le sol, donc elle va restituer, redonner le phosphore. Je n'ai pas compris le... Yes, this, ok, this phosphorus. Oh, we didn't ask you one question. The many discussion about the, the big roots. It compacted or not This one question important, you see. Ah, it is discompact. It's break down compacted, but literally, they are compaction. Yeah. So because this, also this, I don't recommend more radish alone. Because you break down with, for example, pigeon pea. Pigeon pea, it goes six, seven, nine meters in three years. So you have a date in Brazil, 9.2 meters. The root break down compacted, but the root hair, The grasses is a wonderful to make the job. So together would be great to decrease this problem with the compaction. About the phosphorus, you said the phosphorus. Yes, but this phosphorus. The question is, uh, okay, I will tell you one history. In the sugar cane, do you know where is the largest sugar cane? Producers in the world is the Babo family in Sao Paulo state, Sertonzinho, Ribeirão Preto. They have 17,000 hectares with sugarcane, 20 years organic. It's the largest native group. You look for native, it's the largest producer, exporter, sugarcane in the world. Okay, you have a meeting there, 220 farmers. The manager was there, and they asked him about the soil analysis. Where you are saying your cell and I say, I don't say, say uh, sending for anybody for five, six years. But why? Because you show our cell analysis show 15, 20 parts per million of phosphorus. We send you America to Canada, to Denmark, we have 200, 300. Why? Because our cell analysis just show the available phosphorus. Great part of this phosphorus is the total P. All other farmer phosphorus linked with organic matter. Soil organic matter, you are increasing, I protect your potassium, I protect in your phosphorus. And what's happening is this, I release in your phosphorus to make available, and your roots comes, and your root to grow, huh? and your root to grow here, and this is space, and, and quickly we take this, uptake this phosphorus. This phosphorus are in the soil. In our condition, I don't know here, here less, in our condition, Our clay is, uh, in the past, as I said, fixed. Now it, we call uh, adsorbed, adsorbida, adsorbed with the clay. Our clay, in our soils, uh, oxygen, hydroxide, iron, manganese, and aluminum, 
you applied some phosphorus, some chemical fertilizer, 70-75% per, percent of the phosphorus in two days disappeared. The clay. Who you take out this? Who you take? The strong root exudates mycorrhiza, microorganism. To take it to become like it is here. And the phospho acid, phosphatase, and other enzyme able to make this job for you to bring available your phosphorus. Okay? Good, my friend, let's go. So, crop rotation, cover crop conservation. This is also the data from American cover crop cause a domino effects. Biology, chemistry, physics, soil health, all of these together. This quickly, uh, 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 some uh, figure, this is from uh, these people here. Bacteria and virus, one person, fungi, plants, soil fauna, other animals. You see, no? These chemical engineers about the earthworm, the composition, soil organic matter, all microbes, fungi, birds, some protozoa and other biological regulators. Nematodes, spot worms, springtails, mites, millipedes, spiders. So the, the earthworms, one of the three soil quality indicators in the world, soil organic carbon, mycorrhiza, earthworm, ver de terre, huh? act as a predator of plants, other invertebrates and microorganisms regulating their dynamics in space and time. Our ecosystem engineers affect the soil physical properties availability of water in plants, termites, ants. Ants, my friend. 17, 17, 20 years, 17,000 hectares of sugar cane. We was in the meeting and the people ask about ants. What do you mean ants in French? For me. For me. Oh, la cigale enchanté, le for me, la cigale, oui. Yes, I remember. So, they ask about the, 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 for me, the ants, because it's a big problem in sugar cane. And there is one researcher from Nimbrapa, he asked him, yes, I'm working for 12 years in this project, on this farm. My friend, pay attention. We have 43 species of ants, 43 in the sugar cane area. One eat each other, no attack the sugar cane. This is fantastic. This is the modern nature. This is the equilibrium. What about the neighbors? I put a free pronil and pesticide and to kill the ants. 43, he said, we have 43 cataloged in our farm. One eats each other is in equilibrium. Nothing happened with the sugar cane. This is nature that you need to achieve, not the first year, second year. You go forward to achieve this equilibrium. Native species that were found in O2 sites in Paraguay. This is the Herbert Bart, Mahi Bart's daughter that developed some and discovered some of these, you see. Urubentus brasiliensis is from the farm that you visited, the, the, the Herbert Bart's brother. Lamington, UK, you can see what's happened here. Earthworms. With no cover crops, we have cover crops. And this is no in, in conventional, and this is no till. It is uh, it's here, but it's not here. Missouri, earthworm. Lady from USA, you see, chisel disc. You see spring fall, spring fall, what's happened? And no till. More farmers in Brazil using this mixing. More farmers in Brazil. This is on a farm that seven, eight thousand hectares using mixing cover crops. How are we mixing this? 84 bags, this means 4.9 tons of soybean. When you use cocktail trays, three cocktail. Per minute, spectabulous, ocroleuca, buckwheat, some flour, and by motivation. So this is very small, the word. Some results with the grain livestock crop integration. We are developed this very strongly with the trees, like uh, Dr. Ernest showed us the strong results, crop forestry, livestock integration, different possibility with rice, with sunflower, with soybean, with wheat, different conditions. Soybean over rice in Rio Grande do Sul. 
In Rio Grande do Sul, 5.4 million hectares lowland, 1.1 million hectares rice, soybean, high and lowland. What's happening? Rice and rice, 10 tons of rice per hectare. Rice and rice and crop livestock integration and winter pasture, winter cover crops, ryegrass, clover, and other crops, other cover crops, uh, oat, uh, uh, common hairy vetch, 11.6. You see, here rice and rice, rice uh, grain yield, and here we integration, and when you put soybean in rotation, cover crop and soybean, you go to 12.6 ton, means 2.6 ton more per hectare. This is strong family uh, farm, this last year, Three rice harvesting, 10 tons per hectare, the average. Three less soybean, 3.4 tons per hectare. And animal, protein, and soil covered, and mix it here. Ryegrass, black oat, hairy vetch, clovers, in a wonderful shape. Soil organic matter on savanna region. You see here, rotation soybean maize. It goes during the years and goes down. When you put this pasture after soybean, okay, you put the pasture here, goes up, and soybean, maize after pasture. And also goes, so pasture is very nice, but many times not economical. You can go a few years with pasture with the, also the rotation, increasing 30%. This is our experiment in Pato Branco. Here, Sergio visited there. This is 33 years now. It is this data was uh, obtained and published in, in our thesis together with the Bill Hargrove, Dan Danilo Heinheimer and others. Our carbon sequestration, this is not till, this is conventional. This now is 32 years, the same place. We know what's happened with the weeds, with the crop yields, with the soil. Zero to two, two to five until two meters during 33 years. All our team and many people that help us. 1.2 tons per hectare carbon sequestering per year. You can see here, this is the data 10 years after. Here is the forest area uh, uh, in front of the experiment, side by side the experiment. Of course, this is not the uh, statistical data, but you can use this. This is published in the agronomy journal. There is nine. Uh, scientific or international articles, 29 articles, 11 theses, five master, five doctor, one postdoc. You can see here it was the initial when we started in 1986. This data is from 90 years after. You can see the winter fallow here. You can see the year. <coughs> this is forest. This comes here. Conventional rotation. When you go with the no-till rotation, with the winter species, what's happened with the organic carbon? Goes in direction of the forest. You are going in direction of the mother nature. So you can recover in your soil all attributes and also increase soil organic carbon. You can see some maize grain yield, rotation winter. In this experiment, you see no-till, all of us higher than conventional. You can see this was a presenter uh, Sergio was there last year in the Argentina. This is, yes. Uh, question, question, yes. Uh, you have talked about forest, but the forest, we didn't see it. And the forest is a culture, it's a perrin, it's permanent. I don't know how to say it. Oh, yes, it's out, sorry. It's, yes, should be show you, yeah. This is, uh, we have this area with 150 hectares in the experimental station. 350 hectares total. We have 110 hectares with the uh, tropical forest. It was never touched. It is very, it's 100 meters from, 100, 200 meters from the experiment. So you cannot put the, the, the statistical analysis, but you can compare in these graphs was published many places no? to show what's happened there. We, we put in the same, uh, because it's a little bit the steep slope. We put in the same altitude oh, to check the soil, or the same soil, 73% of clay, and we took the soil sample to see, to check what's with the uh, original organic carbon and what's happened with the organic 
after 10 years plowing, burning, erosion, and we start to do recovering this and the mixing and the use of winter cover crops and maize and soybean rotation was the best system that you are in direction back to the same condition, the untouchable forest. Okay? This is soybean granule. You can see here after winter cover crops, this data, this is white lupin, this is a common batch, this is triticale, this is the mixing. You see? The mixing cover crop plus the bioactivation. This area of 4.5 million hectares in, 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 uh, in watershed systematization. We are protecting these. We are using these main cover crops here. Okay, go ahead. This is just to show you the effects of a blood rhizobium in soybean, for example. We are increasing here. It's inoculation with uh, blood rhizobium, japonicum, plus cobaltum and molybdenum. We are increasing 15% of the crop yields. You can see this. Graminia, this is reddish, this is rye and black oat, reddish and vetch. It's zero nitrogen, you can see five tons per hectare, seven tons, 9.7 tons, zero nitrogen, 100 kilos of nitrogen, 200 kilos of nitrogen. And you see here, the average 11 tons. So maybe you can use 100 tons, 100 kilos, 100 tons, 100 kilos. You don't need 200. To, to get a very good result with soybean. Black oat, white oat, barley, and wheat. This average of this grass, gramineous grass. Winter cover crops, this, we achieved 12 tons. Oh, was a problem here, but here, this reddish, cruciferi, rye, black oat, two grass, vetch, and white lupin. Five crops, cover crops, radish, radish, rye, black oat, white lupin, common veg. In a farm condition, we got 12 tons of maize per hectare. This is fellow, 3.7 tons more when you compare this mixing cover crops and bioactivation. Do you know this? Do you have it here? This is Frederic Thomas. When you come here the first time in 2003, I supported him, our friend, to be together. We came many times. We bring the idea with him, compared with our friend Gaster, with the mixing cover crops, and you learn together, and they are doing very well here. And you can see here, no till for five years, veg, radish, old sunflower facility, and not many others. They put this uh, knife roll in front of his machine, you can see here the mixing wonderful, what they are doing. In the Melange Biomax, they are developed as you are working. Radi, Mutad, Tunisol, Vets, Davet, Facili, Pua, the Melange, Autre Plant, Cameline, Lan, Tref de Alessandrie, Trefflin Canat, Niger. And this 5.8 tons of dry mass, 160 kilos of nitrogen, 38 kilos, Don't Ammonia Cali. And this, I brought to this plant the dry mass to Brazil, to our institute, and we did this. We found 26 kilo of phosphorus, 150 kilo of potassium, 81 kilo of calcium, magnesium, all of this. From this, this was 2003. And this is from Frederick mixing cover crops to feed in the soil, to feed in the lamb. This is in Ukraine. Jill was there. We, we promote with them many different mixing cover crops. This is very good friend there. Probably next week he'll be in Germany, and another week he'll be in Ukraine. One week in another Ukraine, no, sorry, in Kenya, and another week in South Africa. We go to Free State in Cape Town. This man is a very famous uh, Franz Yetman. Franz Yetman is a very famous man, works just organic. They said to me that the largest grape and wine exporting organic in the world now is in Cape Town. We visited one farm, one grape area within 1,000 hectares. Oh, organic. It's a wonderful. What they are using? Oh, this is not in the Gulf, this is in the USA, this is in California. Oh, this is in Gay Brown. It's a very famous American that you met 11 years ago in Salina. 
We discuss with him. Have you listened about Gabe Brown? Please take his name, Gabe Brown. You go, there is a lot of video. This farm from USDA, his farmer is famous now. Many people the world come to see him. He's, he is doing wonderful, wonderful mixing cover crops. Oat, forage pea, herd vet, turnip, red, head clover, and many others. Cow pea, soybean, pretty meat, where they don't plant soybeans, they use because there's a lot of nodules, a lot of nitrogen fixing, pea millet, prosomillet, radish, turnip, sunflower, buckwheat, for feeding animals, for feeding soil. Fantastic. This one farm now is more than 35 years, no till we visited Mr. Larson, one of the oldest in that zone in KSU, in Kansas State. Pennsylvania Rolf with Steve Graff, visiting his very famous as well. Tomato transplanting, 57 hectares per day. This is a rye, you can see here, transplanting tomato, no till tomato, transplanting. This is our friend they are doing in USA. What are they are doing? They are doing this to promoting cover crops, mixing over. We visited this in northern South Dakota. They are doing this. This is in Argentina. Our friend Roberto Peretti, president and strong farmer. And this is in Monte Migliano, no, I don't know if it's correct. Migliano, it's, uh, I don't know if it's wrong. This is in Toscana, Tuscany. I told you, this is our friends, Fabio, Fabio and Piero. This is a very nice farmer to visit, 32 years organic. They are in Brazil now producing cover crops. Wheat, uh, uh, triticum durum. Is in a wonderful way, cover crops mixing, fantastic farm. And this is our friend here, Scarlet Farmer Genteri Dino, Piemonte, Nord Italia, Province Alessandria. Sergio with the winter cover crops, Sergio with the summer cover crops, and planting. Sergio, can you? Tell something about the, what you're doing in Italy. A moment, a moment. C'était pas prévu ma intervention, mais bon, je, je suis là, je vais compter quelque chose. Euh, donc, euh, j'ai fait euh, euh, deux essais. Euh, il y a euh, un essai de, de couvert euh, d'hiver. Euh, et puis un essai de couverts euh, d'été. Euh, les couverts euh, d'hiver, euh, il y a dix espèces différentes. Euh, donc, euh, Caligari, vous pouvez euh, euh, mudar. Ir... Non, non, je vais aller à la trace. À si. euh, oui, oui c'est celle-là. Euh, donc là, on voit, on voit le, le couvert d'hiver, euh, où il y a de la voie noire, de la voie rude, de la févérole, du lin, euh, du poids fourragé, du radis fourragé, euh, de la seigle, euh, du trèfle incarné, de la vèche euh, euh, normale et de la vèche velue. Et donc, euh, comme vous, vous pouvez voir, il y a euh, des légumineuses, il y a des graminées, euh, il y a du lin, il y a euh, des brassicacées, donc il y a des espèces différentes, chacune avec une fonction, une fonction différente. Et non, là c'est le couvert euh, d'hiver. Oui, oui. Non, il a passé, il a passé. Et euh, bon, le résultat, c'est la première année. Euh, le résultat était euh, très positif. En plus, on a fait du nautil, euh, on a fait le mix de couverts et euh, on a fait le semis euh, dans le verre. Donc, on a fait euh, deux jours avant euh, du glyphosate et puis on est rentré dedans et euh, on a planté. Et le résultat était très, très positif. Comme première expérience, le système, il n'est pas encore en mouvement, mais nous avons produit... 9 tonnes euh, de euh, maïs au 13% euh, de euh, humidité. Donc, euh, euh, je suis en train de dire euh, le, le maïs euh, commercial. Euh, donc, c'est ça. Et, et puis, l'autre chose, euh, c'est... 
l'expérience euh, du couvert euh, tropical, euh, nous avons un grand problème euh, euh, dans, le, dans le nord d'Italie. Euh, L'hiver, c'est un climat euh, très froid euh, avec de la neige. Et puis, à partir du mois de juin jusqu'à la fin de septembre, il y a un climat très chaud et c'est stress. Euh, donc, je dis, moi, je veux plus voir euh, le sol et le terrain euh, l'été euh, nu. Euh, mais il faut trouver quelque chose qui, ça marche quand il n'y a pas d'eau et beaucoup de sécheresse et, et beaucoup de soleil. Euh, donc, euh, avec Allegar, et nous avons analysé un petit peu qu'est-ce qu'il y a au Brésil qui ça marche dans un climat euh, similaire euh, au nord de l'Italie pendant euh, l'été. Et le résultat a été simplement extraordinaire. Nous avons eu à la rentour de 40 tonnes de matière verte. Et quand les autres, ils avaient la charrue et le terrain nu pendant quatre mois où ils ont brûlé la matière organique euh, des adventices et tout ça. Euh, mais là-dedans, là euh, il y a du, du mille perlé, il y a de la crotalaria, il y a de la vigna sinensis, euh, il y a du euh, rafano, le, le, le radis, euh, mais ce n'est pas bien passé parce qu'il était très chaud, première expérience. Euh, le tournasol, très très bien, le sarrasin, très bien, euh, et la facélie, ce n'est pas bien passé parce qu'il était trop chaud. Euh, donc, euh, première expérience, euh, il faut ce sont des expériences. Il faut voir qu'est-ce qui se passe. Euh, mais euh, la tendance a été euh, très positive. Oui, c'est ça. Comment est-ce que vous avez fait le Junsia Comment est-ce que vous avez fait C'est juste fantastique. Crotalaria Junsia, uh, Vigna Sinensis, uh, Cayanus Cayan, qui sont uh, des espèces uh, uh, de, 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 de tropiques. Yeah. Bon, là, vraiment, c'est quelque chose uh, d'extraordinaire. Là, c'est son ambiance. Euh, mais euh, oui, c'est ça, c'est ça. Là, sont, sont toutes euh, les photos de l'été. Euh, donc ici, on peut voir euh, Crotalaria Juncia, Cayanus Cayan. Euh, en bas ici, euh, il y a de la Vigna Sinensis, euh, le, mille, le mille perlé euh, qui a très bien marché. Moi, personnellement, euh, je n'aime pas le, le sorghum. Le sorgho, je ne l'aime pas. Euh, Soudam grasse, des choses comme ça, parce que je ne veux pas avoir des problèmes avec des nématodes. Euh, ils ont aussi une allélopathie euh, très forte. Quand je produis du sorgho euh, l'année après, je veux voir que les terrains ils sont euh, plus durs. La production du blé n'est pas trop bien. Donc, j'ai dit, euh, je veux avoir quelque chose de similaire euh, au sorgho, mais qui ne va pas m'amener les problèmes que j'ai d'habitude avec du sorgho. Et, et bon, là, c'est c'est le résultat, donc le jour euh, qui on a fait le semi euh, vert et après euh, trois semaines, 21 jours après, donc comme vous pouvez voir, nous n'avons pas utilisé le rouleau euh, FACA, mais qui fait du biologique, il faut qu'il l'utilise. Et bon, là, c'est le résultat après trois semaines. Donc, pas de problème euh, de germination, une très belle évolution. Non, 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 le sorghum c'était utilisé euh, comme cash crop, euh, comme on fait du blé, comme on fait des autres choses. Oui, de, hein? oui en culture principale. Euh, donc, euh, pour faire euh, des grains euh, et les vendre. Mais, euh, bon. Non, je ne veux pas de sorghum dedans, parce qu'il a des effets à mon avis, dans ma région, négative pour la culture suivante. Donc, à la place de mettre euh, le sorgho, j'ai mis du mille perlé, qui a des caractéristiques similaires en termes de résistance à la sécheresse, euh, moins à l'élopathique, et surtout, il a une capacité de recyclage euh, de la potasse euh, beaucoup plus euh, fort que le sorgho. Bon, j'espère d'avoir... Non, Mais c'était pas prévu, oui, mais... C'est dire. Non, ok. Non, sir, just tell them in, in French. Yeah. That he, Sergio, do you saw this less than two years? Yes. 
went to Brazil, was in Brazil, and many places, and discussing now. No, ma, 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 ma culture, c'est une culture de, 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 de dirigeant d'entreprise. Euh, c'est plus de 20 ans que je m'occupe euh, d'un gré de fertilisant dans des grandes euh, euh, multinationales. Mais euh, j'ai voulu voir les choses aussi d'une façon un petit peu euh, différente. Après 20 ans d'expérience euh, au Brésil, j'ai vu ce que euh, M. Calégar était en train de faire avec des autres. Euh, le Brésil a eu un développement extraordinaire ordinaire pendant les derniers 20 ans euh, à travers euh, les couverts, à travers la couverture du sol et des choses comme ça. Et donc j'ai seulement dit, bon, euh, notre arrière, notre parent, notre grand-parent, ils ont arrivé, ils, ils font 100 ans au Brésil avec la charrue. Et moi, je veux euh, aller en Italie à nouveau euh, avec des covers, avec des cover crops, avec euh, des semis et, et oublier la charrue. Euh, donc, c'est ça la philosophie. Il faut avoir de la matière organique. Le futur de l'agriculture, c'est la matière organique. Sans avoir de la matière organique, euh, on va perdre notre capitaux, ce qui c'est le sol. Et donc, il faut faire euh, des choses pour augmenter euh, la matière organique. Euh, quand euh, notre arrière, ils ont commencé, il fait 100 ans avec la charrue, nous avions 6% de matière organique. Maintenant, nous avons 1%, 1,5%, euh, quelqu'un 0,5%, des autres 2, qui n'a pas du bétail et des autres choses. Mais bon, là, c'est quelque chose qui qu'il faut contrôler, et il faut cibler, et il faut changer. C'est ça. Moi, moi j'ai utilisé, ici, nous avons utilisé euh, trois, quatre jours avant, exactement, je ne m'en souviens plus, euh, du glyphosate. Et donc, euh, euh, nous avions eu une très <coughs> bonne quantité de matière verte. On a laissé jusqu'à pratiquement le semi, euh, la vie dans le terrain. Et puis, bon, quand on fait le semi, euh, il faut d'une manière ou l'autre contrôler euh, 30 tonnes de matière verte. Euh, C'est difficile de faire le semi dans un champ avec 30 tonnes de matière verte et avoir euh, une euh, germination euh, très bien faite. Mais euh, j'ai dans la tête aussi de faire ça. Donc, un jour ou l'autre, je vais essayer de faire le euh, pas de l'utiliser, euh, le planter et puis utiliser le euh, rolofac. Euh, c'est ça. Oui. Co oui. Bon. Oui. C'est légumineuse. Légumineuse. Oui. Oui, donc euh, euh, là, mon maître, c'est toujours, toujours le docteur Calégar. Et, et, et quand vous voulez faire du mix, il faut toujours avoir euh, des familles différentes. Donc, euh, légumineuse, graminée, brassica, euh, hydrophilacie. Bon, euh, chacune a sa fonction. Donc, euh, vous devez étudier, comprendre okay. quelles sont les fonctions de chaque plante, mais surtout, comme lui il dit, faire euh, l'analyse de votre terrain, l'analyse de votre situation en fonction de votre objectif. Vous allez faire le cocktail. Parce que euh, vous avez un problème, il faut utiliser un certain cocktail. Lui, il a un autre euh, problème, il faut utiliser un autre cocktail. Et puis, si on va faire euh, du blé l'année d'après, il faut avoir... Euh, euh, des euh, légumineuses. Si vous allez faire du soja, il faut avoir plutôt des graminées dans le cocktail. Donc, euh, tout il faut qu'il soit ciblé et, 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 et contrôlé. Bon. Parfait. Hein? Okay. Je pense que... Thank you so much. <laughs> ok, non. This is stay with you. Oh, this aussi, that is Sergio said, no? This is composité, polygonacier, légumineuses, graminées, so different families. Sergio, just one comment to you. What's happened here? What's uh, no? You can when uh, here is the road, no? What's happened with the cars that are crossing the road? Did you ask him what? How we did? You see the criteria? He went there. He visited Paraguay. He visited that many times. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Just a comment because Sergio, answer your question that you asking me. When you? Tous les sens. Okay, no, 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 Serge, you can sit, Serge. No, you can sit. No. What is Sergio said here is one, okay. one part of my answer to you. You said, how can I? He went, he was looking for, he went to Argentina, he went to Paraguay, he went to Brazil, he went to Barts, to pioneer many farms, went to Iapar, many places with us, with me, in Mato Grosso and, other and others. Okay, and we discussed, sent 
his ideas to put together their testing, make adjustment to find this and this area, it works. And I'm producing wheat, I'm producing maize. Maybe if can make some arrangements, it is all the time, but it's... It, it, mais, ouais, mais ma, ma question, alors oui, ma question en fait, c'était, enfin, euh, c'est pas une question, mais c'est une remarque, parce que je me dis que pour ce mode de transition là que nous on fait chez nous sur nos propres exploitations, je, je, je vais revenir chez moi et j'ai un, un tas de gars qui causent pas faire le pas, qui l'ont pas fait, qui le feront peut-être pas ou qui le feront peut-être. Mais ils iront pas. Euh, euh, tout le monde pourra pas en fait aller euh, euh, dans les quatre coins du monde ou aller se former, oui, mais pas trop loin. Et l'idée, c'est déjà d'avoir une, une, une petite base avec déjà, déjà avec ça, il y a moyen de faire beaucoup de choses. Parce que tous ces gars-là, euh, euh, je, je, je parle au nom de quelques centaines de gars, hein, je, je, je me permets, mais on n'ira pas. Euh, dans, dans les quatre coins du monde, alors que c'est génial, c'est quelque chose qui est super, et, ça, et je, 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 trouve, je trouve ça super, je félicite ça. Mais après, les mecs, ils, je les connais déjà, c'est une majorité d'éleveurs, bon, ils sont au taquet, euh, donc euh, il faut mettre en place des choses sur l'exploitation, mais comment est-ce que, justement, euh, avec des choses simples, déjà, on peut commencer à faire ça Good. Just, yes, just to tell you, Sergio didn't know this meeting before. I told him he came here to learn. I put his slide for this to share with you. I could not put his slide. I am present. No, we are. And don't forget the farmer that you said many times. You said you in his presentation many years. We are together many years in Brazil. He said, follow the farmers, look for the best one. If you want to be the good one, look for the best one. What are the farmers that here? Look for them. Take care of them. Go to see. Okay, there are scientists who wrote a lot. Go to the I go into the field, learn with the field, learn with the modern nature. Okay, Serge, very good. He shared with us his experience. One, two years is possible. You are improving because you are improving a dynamic system. It's not isolated, not blocked. We are learning a lot. So, there is another one from the, our friend. This is in Samara region. I went there, you see, we are with Don Rekowski. I don't know, here's many years. This is was, uh, the deal was there as well in Dnipropetrovsk in Ukraine. This is, uh, 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 no, deal. This is uh, Chernozem soils, my friend. It's the most fertile soils in the world. 35, it was. 30, 35, 45 percent of organic matter, natural. As you see, that you know very well, yellow sweet clover. Very nice, but they are plowing. What's happened in, in agrosoils? The soil organic carbon in, 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 in uh, temperate climate, very cold, many months. We got 12, 12 or 14 below zero there during the meeting, and the organic carbon go like this. And now they need to change because this, it works. This works, but this it doesn't work. This you need to see where you are, what you're looking for. This is some foul project is maize intercrop heavy vet in Korea. North South Korea, never been there. I've been seven times in North Korea for FAO projects. This heavy vet it can support 14 degrees below zero. They develop. Sergio, tem que tirar uma foto aqui antes que não termine aqui. Por favor. Pelo menos para falar que eu estava aqui. Just take a photo of us. Yes, you have a question? Uh, we, we have please. Oui, le cas, de la, le cas de la Russie était intéressant avec des sols, j'ai oh. compris. Oh, oh Serge, can you translate it because it doesn't listen more? Si. Uh, ok, you can talk. Oui, yeah. c'est calmé. Okay. Le cas de la Russie avec les sols à 35% euh, de matière, matière euh, organique. Uh, what, uh, what matière organique uh, Ça ne marche pas okay. 30, ah, this Russia, uh, uh, Belarusia, and other Ukraine and other countries, this zone of this, the most higher fertile soil in the world is, is Chernozem. Yeah. It's 30, pour 40, 45 pour percent pour natural, pour very dark, strong yeah, yeah, soil. Yeah. Pour nous, enfin, pour le, la, la, la Commission européenne, euh, ces sols sont, enfin, 
ces sols, il y a des... again, oui, pour, pour la Commission européenne, ces sols, euh, en, en, enfin, il y a des sols peut-être encore plus euh, chargés en matière organique, mais on les appelle les pitlands, pitlands, wetlands. Et on veut les protéger. Wetlands. Wetlands. Yes. So, but this is not wetlands. Yeah. The but it's close. Highlands with this 35, 42%. Yeah. But now it's 8, 6, 10 during the years. Because plowing, yeah. plowing, plowing. C'est important parce qu'on on voudrait euh, interdire le labour sur ces terres. Et évidemment, pour l'instant, personne n'est d'accord. Enfin, en, Bon, il, sure. il y a des cultures, mais parfois il y a aussi des, des problèmes, des questions de grassland, permanent grassland sur ces terres. Donc après, yes. qu'est-ce qu'on fait euh, pour les permanent grassland oui, oui. Mais, mais, mais c'est important de, de souligner qu'on peut cultiver sur ces terres sans labour, ouais. Ouais. comme vous, vous le dites. You can do that if you use properly. If you use cover crops, if you use good rotations, they are developed this. This is a strong, uh, this is the area for a strong company. This is it calls AgroSoyuz, one of the largest in, in, in Ukraine. And they are promoting the cover crops, they are promoting rotations, they are promoting big meeting. Also many Dew and other, Rykovsky and other scientists in the world are coming there every two, three years to promoting these things. That you can work if you bring a lot of Organic carbon, crop residue, or even soil life, microbiota, in order to keep and increase the, the, the carbon uh, sequestration. Yeah, the Amazon, the problem is one of the big challenges, you know. We hope so that it is our new government where we are trying to, there are uh, many projects there. Also, for example, the many projects are running now that they are not can buy the, because the Amazon, they take out the forest and put a pasture to, to, to grasses for, for grazing animals. Is that right? And the question is, they, the Amazon is a liter. This is 20, 40% of this area. This is liter is 1,000 years. All this crop residue decays on these things. This is organic matter high four, five, sometimes six. But below is sandy, very sandy soil, very low clay, very low soil organic. So this quickly disappeared. This is a big problem. But now we are, the whole society are pressing and the government, not to the, 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 the company that are producing beef cattle, not to buy that zone. So they also, uh, international people that are importing this meat. I, no, I don't want the Amazon area. So I'm sure that you are trying to do uh, the best as possible. But not easy because it's a huge area. And it's not only this, my friend. We have international people that are taking many materials from Amazon. Many, many, many countries. Many NGOs. More than 1,000 NGOs that are taking plants, trees, insects, and all things for the healthy in the world. Yes, not only the Brazilian that are doing wrong, there are many other, but we are also uh, uh, not, help, uh, not uh, happy with this. Okay, let's go. Yes, please. Oh, yes. En France, on nous dit dans toutes les formations maintenant qui, conserve, qui concernent l'agriculture de conservation qu'il faudrait que l'on réduise nos parcelles, même quand elles ne font que 15 ou 20 hectares, ou... et les couper euh, en deux, et mettre en fait des haies, et faire des, des squares de quasiment on, euh, seulement 5 hectares, 5-6 hectares maximum. Donc quand je vois tout ce que je vois depuis ce matin, on devait parler toute la journée de captation de carbone, donc forcément c'est essentiel, l'arbre. Et je me demandais comment vous analysez ça, vous, parce que nous on a déjà beaucoup d'arbres en France et on nous suggère d'en mettre encore plus. Et donc ça modifie encore nos pratiques. 
Et quand je vois ce que vous faites, où bah, de temps en temps on voit des haies, des forêts, mais elles sont quand même très 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 loin les unes des autres. <rire> voilà. Ok. Is a, is a, a very is strong, huge question. It's not easy. Ok, if you have one farmer in 1000 hectares, it's more easy. But you have farmers with 10, 20 in the Savannah area, in Mato Grosso, Goiás, and other states, Tocantins, Maranhão, other states, big area. They have a farm with 50, 60,000. It's more difficult this small area. Many farmers doing this. At least 50 or 100 hectares, one age of trees, one age of a native area. Also for the organism, we have many results. Also in Bolivia, they are doing this, trying. But it's not easy. I agree. I agree, but to take one as more, as higher the capital, more intensive, and the machinery, the big machinery, the big planters, is not easy, this. But I agree that we need more trees. Yes, you, you can need to cut less as possible in some area you need to put again. But yes, the Amazon, the Amazon is 80%, is tree, you cannot touch, just 20%, you can go to arable land, 20%. Other area in Cerrado now is 40%. So the Amazon region is 80% covered by, by, by forest. In the arable land, it's just 20%. But I'll tell you, take care with the media. Take care with the media. Because the media says so many things that are not true. Yeah. One thing for our, we're not discussed this, but it's on politician conditions. Nothing. Which happened, you are seen here in Germany, other countries. My friend from America, from England, asking me, called me, other beer is happening. No, it's not happening. Well, yeah, but the media told, yes, are saying what they want. Take care with the media because it's not true. The law is this. Another, for example, in Paraná, my state, is the only one state to have 27 states. We have the soil law. If you have erosion in your neighbor, you must pay what's happening in his farm. Is 100% followed. Is only we con you conquer this. We conquer this. We have the research people, the farmers, the, the cooperatives. We are the most developed state with cooperative. We are the largest area of no-till. We have 5.5 million hectares in my state. We are the top in Brazil. We are one quarter of the 27 states of the production of grain in the, the soil law. If you have a problem with your neighbor, you must you pay. You pay. Because he mm -hmm. knows assess the okay. money. So you are developing this. Mm -hmm. All these things are discussion. And also the law, like Sergio said. Mais ce qui m'intéresse, c'est de constater que même sans. Excuse me, can you repeat again? Yes. Ce qui m'intéresse, c'est de constater depuis ce matin que même sans obéir entre guillemets à ces règles que l'on nous suggère, c'est-à-dire d'avoir une continuité jusqu'à euh, euh, de, de la haie, enfin je suis à l'aise pour en parler, on en a 11 km sur notre ferme de 100 hectares, donc on en a pas mal, euh, la, la couverture permanente, mais aussi le bosquet, puis l'arbre, et que ça, ce soit vraiment régulier. Et ce que je constate, c'est qu'en fait, vous, vous réussissez très bien l'agriculture de conservation, avec un, et le semi-direct, et avec un succès, une présence de biodiversité importante, sans avoir ces arbres tous les euh, 100 mètres en fait. Yes, I agree with you. Yes, you can. We are very increasing this. We are close to America now. We are 31 million hectares in no-till in Brazil. We more more than 65, 70%. In America, we are the largest in no-till in the world. You are looking for to 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 achieve this. Also the trees. This is a strong discussion. Just this time with the integration crop, livestock, integration grains, we have almost more than 15 million hectares now. It grows fast, this. This will be use the trees, the, the, the pasture, and the grains. They are you have more than 50 million. Four or five years ago, you have almost nothing. So this is on the system that are grown quickly, like the no-till. Okay? All right. Good. Also in the, 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 the perennial crops, like the trees, this is uh, uh, peach, no? Peach trees. Here we have the cover crops, the Sao Paulo state, you see the apple trees, we are using this. 
You can see here, it's a long time ago in Uruguay. We are using this mixing rye, hardy vetch in Uruguay. You can see here in Minas Gerais, a great production. You can see here 760 hectares with this soil covering by to feed the animals. Eight kilos of uh, forage sorghum, 80 kilos of uh, pear millet, five kilos of fi finger millet, 20 kilos of buckwheat. It's a wonderful. And the animal grazing, and you take a different plots. System, uh, system, Voisin system. You know Voisin? He came from here, went to Brazil. With you, you, uh, many people follow him. So this is, I told you before, this is Harry Vett, Tritike, and Serradella. This is Franz Yetman. This is in South Africa. One of the largest wine, wine and uh, grape organic producers here. Just knife roller, nothing here, herbicide, no pesticide. You can see here the man. This is bring this knife roller to kill the, the to, to manage this. This is in California, crimson clover rye, very common. You can see vineyard with bell beans. Is the favaroli, the faba bean. It's a wonderful. This is in 300, 400. This is a FAO project was there with them in the people from Eritrea. And soil moisture, this is another farm. As he said, in Swaziland. I have farmed this plot all my life and yet never seen such biomass production. One farmer quote regarding this plot. This was in Swaziland. Okay? This is who you built this small knife roller. Como se chama? Un tambor? Un drum? Or drum? You know, open here, you put water. And this soil, my friend. This is the maize like this. 300 kilos. 400 kilos per hectare. In three years, with PGMP and other crops, we achieved 4.25 tons per hectare. This is Sesbania. This is a native legume. We, we encourage the farmers in Mozambique. I have two books in Mozambique with them. And they got this and increased 100% the rice production just using this native legume. This is in Costa Rica. Coffee intercropped with perennial legume trees, Clericidia and Gala legume, legume trees, Leucaena is very warm. They cut the branches, just put on the soil surface. The only farm that they use fertilizer is this. It's a biological way. This is in Costa Rica. This is in cashew, inter cashew intercropped with tropical kudzu. This is in Bolivia, legume. This is in Paraguay, you see this tomato, plenty. Not root, root nematodes. If you put sudden grass here, if you put lab lab here, you need to which cover crop is good from to decrease the nematode? Crotalarias, stylosantis, and other different species and biological products. Because this is the problem with these people. This is banana, is it in Paraguay, mukun and other crops. Mixing cover crop, perennial peanut, arax pinto. I want to show you this. Back in it works in all over the world. We need to, to choose which crops with better. We have a good result with stylosantis with different cover crops. Yes, we have it in Central America, the strong problem with nematodes and banana. In Panama, in Costa Rica, and um, strong problems. Yes. You can see this is, oops, is in Uruguay, winter cover crops, hardy vetch, and others. What do you see? Bananas in Guadeloupe, in Martinique Islands. Arrakis, Neurotonia, this is perennial soybean, cardamine, different species. Centrosema, you see? Stylosantis. This is 140 kilos of nitrogen, my friend. He took phosphorus from the sand grain. This is strong to decrease all nematodes. Good for protein for the animals. Good for the soil. You can mix with grass and other things. It's a wonderful. Stylosantis. Is it perennial? Perennial uh, legume. No two equipment they are using there. This is in Venezuela. The small farmers in FAO project. This is alternative to minutiae in Colombia. No till here. He is harvesting potato. Touch a little bit of soil. I put the cover crops again. We developed many times in Colombia. Here is Notio Planter, Cochabamba. This is Rolf Derbsch. This Jew is Patrick Wall. Patrick Wall. 
This is one of the most clever men that they know. He was from Simit now. He's a huge man working in Paraguay, working in, and he was born in, uh, in Africa, in uh, the Antiqui Rhodesia, is uh, Zimbabwe. He's very famous. Yeah, he worked there, he's Rolf Derps here. I also have a problem is, <laughs> and the farmers here on Bolivian, it's a lot. And now they're invited to come to, to, to Bolivia on the altiplans for the, the, the seeds that, uh, to make the summer system on the, on the altiplans. Small holders in Philippines, you see? And Banos, this is still there. Philippines, different things that you are using. Research, cowpea, corn cowpea. Cowpea you can use together with per millet. It's a wonderful, this is, how like you say, Vigna sinensis. We have a Vigna, short one, one meter. We have a two mukumaki variety now, two, three meters for the soil, uh, dry conditions, wonderful. It's 60 days, you can manage it. Cassava, stylosantis, very nice. Cassava, very strong answer, uh, response to mycorrhiza. Corn, or maize, stylosantis, compared with the fellow. Arachis pintois, perennial uh, peanut. And this is also from Gay Brown. Do you know this man? Adrian Bignell. I spent one week in Zambia. This farm, I met him in two weeks. He'll be in South Africa, Sergio. He'll be in South Africa. Adrian Bignell. I went there to Zambia and I knew him. Stayed four or five days in his house. He grows 2,000 hectares. He built, we built together a knife roller. The first time that he used a mixing cover crops, the first time in his life is he didn't use herbicide for the wheat and harvest nine tons of wheat per hectare in Zimbabwe, hey, sorry, in Zambia. We got frost in Zim four degrees below zero in Zambia. This friend, and this is Kortalale Okraleuka, Adrian Bignell, very nice. And, 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 and uh, Sergio met him in, where? In South Africa. In South Africa, is that right? Great agronomist. Yes. It's right, look, cow. I didn't that one. No, please. Stop. And I'm doing. He built a knife roller. He's doing. He built now a no two planter. Yeah. We saw this before. Cassava, 52 tons of this friend of us. In the, a minimum till is in Paraguay. This is in Mexico. This is Lisoto. In a few minutes, you, you, you finish. You see the condition of Lesotho in Africa. You see after the rainfall. CA, CA conservation agriculture, a way out of poverty and make soil healthy and productive again. Is the man with a fish. If you give it the fish, every day you give it. So teach him to fish. And he will find it his, his, his way. This is our friend, lived with us three years ago, Dr. Shiro Miyasaka. He's the father of cover crops in Brazil. This man, 30 years ago, the governor of the Cuban, Cuban Fidel Castro, came to Brazil and ask you to govern to send one specialist. This man is a very good friend of us. He's the father of cover crops. Yeah. Shiro Miyasaka is a legend. Linda, Leg legend? Yeah. Linda? Yeah. Legend. This man went there, no political issues. He's the father of, he brought Mukuna, he brought Sanrem to Cuba. To Cuba, they saved the, the sugar cane areas of Cuba. And the people asked it here, building a statue of him, because he, he is really fantastic. And he said, there is no miracle in the nature. The success de depends of efforts, creativity, and persistence. If you believe, you achieve it. If you don't believe, forget it. It's energy. If you believe in the mother nature, his mother is not stepmother, his mother. And this is ah, yes. our dear friend, 
The people from outside of Brazil knows more than, than in Brazil. It's Ana Maria Primavera. I've been nine times with her. He told, she told me many times, Admir, the last century, last century, Germany, yellow lupin and rye, yellow lupin and rye saved Germany. She is from, she was born in, she's Aust Austrian. She is now 97 years old. She really is a legend. Is she still really sharp? It's 100%. He was there now, in a few days, the people put her in a meeting. It's incredible. What did he talk about ants? He talked with the nature. This thing that I wrote here, I have a friend. He was professor in Santa Maria, Rio Grande do Sul State. And I have a friend that was the second that was graduated in this university. You know, and I have a, a training in a cooperative in Rio Grande do Sul. Cotriel, Espumoso, Rio Grande do Sul, Sergio knows. And this Benjamin, my friend, said, Admir, I have in my notebook that I wrote thing when this lady was my professor. Okay, bring me. And I took this information from this 45 years ago. She said, it was five years more or less. In 45 years ago, she said, in a few years, we are not looking for soil analysis. This is nothing. But for soil biological analysis, microbial biomass, bact solubilizes bacteria, fungi, phosphorus, and other soil beneficial organisms. She said it 45 years ago. And the people does not understand. He said, no, she's a crazy lady. Now, many of people are seeing, oh, this is a real legend for us. This Anna Maria Primavera, she has many books. Wonderful lady. is our guru. In Portuguese and Espanol. No, now he's in England as well. He was published. This was an international visit. It was in this farm that we are looking for five years. This is increasing. There are people from here, from Germany, from Switzerland, from uh, Vietnam. It was 23 people here from 17 countries last year. This farm, what's happened this farm? Mr. Ademar Bedin. We went there, we have a talk during the evening. Said, Adam, you need to help you. Yes, I help you. Okay, after tomorrow, you visit your farm. You come there, half day, have a look. Analysis, something, oh, there are some compaction. The guys come, took some analysis. There are three nematodes, four root disease. Why do you do this? We need you to cover crops. Yeah, but we need to cover crop. Okay, if 50 hectares, we need mixing. And try to use some biological. The next year, we went to 100% of the area. And the, the 300, he, he managed 1,200 hectares, 250, he's his brother. And there is another farm. And he managed 350 hectare cover crops and make this one year. And the winter, the, the early uh, season, or called the safrinha, he planted this mixing, biological products, every year, 500 kilos of soybean more. Now, he's around 4, 4.5 tons of soybean. He decreased 80% the production costs. He increased 32% of the crop yield using three, four, five biological mixing cover crops and the bioactivation. And the people was there, what's going on here? And all the farmers in this region, the huge region of this. So my friend, you can ask some question, make a comment, but only the motivated people will reach, will achieve motivation. Motivation. Only the convinced can convince another one. If you are not convinced, please convince you first. Listen, many people looking for this. If you are not convinced, I'm convinced that my wife like me, love me. I'm 32. She is here. If I'm not convinced, you're not really bored with her. There's no problem. I'm really bored with my family. I really bored what I do, and I love her doing. You see, you. You see the example, Don Rekoski, 78 years, was it this morning here? This man never is rest. We work 
12, 14, 15, years a, 15 hours a day. Because you love these words you're doing. And you as well. But if you just, I oh know you use this, not this, it's huge things connected with the modern nature to soil healthy, to biodiversity, biodiversity. This is the, the words for to achieve no two with quality system. Sistema le siembra directa con calidad. We need urgently improve soil and plant to bioactivation. We need to improve our soil, your plant, with life. Like in the theme of here, that is what is the main for this meeting, these four days? Huh? Is that right? Soil de vivant. And enhance soil organic carbon sequestration. We will have the erosion control. We will achieve the, input, the reduction in inputs. Okay, make, ah, you go organic, I don't know. Some of go organic, but you are ecologic. Less as possible to aggressively with the modern nature. Less fertilizer, less labor, increase crop yield. And this is not here. We increase the life quality of the family. This is from Rolf Derps, my friend. He put this, the sustainable agriculture. We can, this is very important to cover crops in a no-till system adequate with the crop rotation. Each zone, each plot, integrate with livestock sometimes, with trees, with annual crops, to improve the life quality of the families. And I put this, improve soil and plant bioactivation with composting, with biological products, we can do that. Is these tools are available. We need to look for them to make this input to work. Please never forget, you must harvest the sunlight and feed the soil. Feed the animals, but feed the soil. We have a strong challenge that to which you survive not is more intelligent or more responsive to the change. And Isaac Newton said, what do you know is a drop. What you don't know is a vast ocean. In many times, I'm a farmer. I'm a agronomist for many years. Every day there is new knowledge. Every day the dynamic of our life. The biologic is not mathematic. Oh, I use this mixing. Maybe one another thing, another year. The surgery will change according to the evaluation because every day the soil are different. All the organisms are new. And you as well, your cells as well. You know, today, like he, he showed this quote today, you know, you are changing not the, the, not the new ideas, but you continue your old. Now you need to be looking for a new shape. Never lose holy curiosity. Nunca perca la santa curiosidad. And Marshall Goldsmith are today here telling us what you, what God you hear won't get you there. Nobody knows what's happened later on. I need to be better. I learned with many farmers in Brazil, with many enterprises people that said, today I need to be better than yesterday. Because tomorrow I need to be better than today. We cannot stop it because our life is not never stopped. What can I do to avoid this catastrophe. With the Amazon, uh, the lady said, yes, in many other aspect. What can I do to leave this better? This is our main aim, in my opinion. In a sustainable agriculture system must to comprise all the things. But this is the key point, my friend. Biodiversity, soil life, and if you promote this, plenty blessings of God will come to us, of the modern nature. Sorry about the okay. And if you have some question, I don't know the time, but you are very welcome to come to Brazil to visit us. We have problems in Amazon. We have some politician problems and other problems, but we are trying to solve and help us 
Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Muchas gracias. Gracias mille. Obrigado. Thank you. Thank you.